Good evening, gamers, and welcome back to Hellstone Wargaming. My name is Mikey. I'm joined by Georgie. Are you okay? Ah, uh, yes. Are you ready to play some Warhammer Quest? I'm so ready. Good. If it's the first time you're tuning in, then uh, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. But we have done two other episodes. This is actually episode three now of yeah. our journey into oh, into Ulfenkarn. My apologies. Um, so we've been playing this. This is our third playthrough. We're going to be playing the mission Deliverance, or a mission that is Deliverance. Mm hmm um, which we're going to go in over, but what have we done so far? Can you remember? Um, you were previously on Orphan Khan. Yeah. So, so far we have, um, our first mission from our band of Valiant Heroes was to head into the city and hunt down bands of those who have been possessed or mm. taken over by Radikar. Um, the Great Wolf. So we were hunting zombies, we were hunting bats. We were hunting rats, which doesn't sound very bad. They were big and scary, though. They Should weren't you, just regular ones. Searching for bats, rats, and everything. And everything that. in between. So that's why we were hunting them all down and trying to eliminate them as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. More recently, on our latest visit to mm -hmm. Ulfenkan, mm -hmm. we were scavenging for treasure. Mm -hmm. um, and to be fair, we've got some decent treasure. So We did, we we did were, scoot for some treasure, didn't we? We did. So we were still fighting off all of the beasts and ghouls, but mm -hmm. we were doing it not to try and kill them and get points from that, but instead to um, get as much loot and treasure as we could from the city. Yeah. And uh, the enemies were still there, but they weren't quite, they weren't appearing quite as quick. No. Because we realised we were doing it wrong. Well, yes, this is true. <laughs> this is true. Everything's a learning curve. Yeah, exactly. So, tonight we're going to be venturing into Ulf and Khan once again, mm -hmm. uh, as we've heard some mysterious rumblings. There's a necromancer there who's doing some spooky stuff. There might be a bit of a, a, bit of a wave of suffocation. I hate that. A grave tide. Oh. But we'll see. Currently, last time we left you, we, we found some money known as Realmstone. Which we've got. I've got three. Prince Glorio the third has got three, mm -hmm. and Yelson. Yelson's got one. Has just the one, um, and we were like, okay, we'll do it off stream, and then we thought it'd be a great idea. This is a save, right? We thought it'd be a great idea to do spending Realmstone on stream at the start. So we, what we're gonna do is yeah. we're gonna learn how to spend that money essentially to buy items, it's not because we completely forgot and only remembered like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, it's definitely it's not because, because we've been so busy. It's because we, we... want to help you and teach you <laughs> and share our knowledge and experience with you. Exactly. So we're going to because... go through how to spend Realmstone today because yeah. we forgot. Uh, but let us know if it sounds okay, if the music's loud enough or too quiet, if you can hear Georgie over me, if you can hear me over Georgie, let us know. But I think it should be all right. Looking good. We're looking good. We're currently live on Twitch, so hello, still unsure. And we're live on YouTube as well, so hello, Ryan. Um, Hello, Jammers92. What happened to no no stream loading screens? Well, I needed one today because I need to like press start and come and sit down. That's literally the only reason. That's the only reason I have a loading screen. Um, calling it now, Gloria over MVP. I think I agree, Lord Gitface. I agree. And then we got My mum phoned me up and said, Who's Gloria? And Gloria. I was like, Do you mean Gloria? She was like, Me and your dad were watching, no, and Mike just kept saying Gloria. And I said, No, Gloria. it's Gloria, mum. But. <laughs> And then Ryan says, where's the bad merch? I know. <laughs> well, he's wearing it. What are you on about? It's rude. Rude indeed. Oh. Okay, so since last time, I've actually painted some models. So we've got some painted skeletons and bats today. Yes. Five of the 60 models are now painted. Nice. Four done. of them are sprayed. That's basically, you know, nearly 10 of them. It counts. It counts. So, Georgia, are you ready to learn how to um, spend money in... The Cursed City. I'm so or on ready. Or on the boat that isn't in the Cursed City. The Adamant. The Adamant, yeah. I'm so ready. I banged the stream deck. Are we still live? Yeah, we're okay. Um, so we're basically, after we complete this mission, if we all survive, we'll also all grow a level. We'll go to level one, finally. How exciting. Very exciting. So, spend Realmstone. After journey, the heroes may have some Realmstone, represented by Realmstone cards. The different values on the Realmstone cards translate into Realmstone points. Um... The Karajan overlords on the Sky Vessel can use Realmstone to empower the hero's equipment. If a hero has the requisite number of Realmstone points, they can purchase an empowerment card of their choice. Each empowerment card has a Realmstone cost on its card. Take the appropriate empowerment and place it beneath the relevant slot on the character card. There is one slot for armor, one slot for weapons. Oh, I see. The empowerment is permanent and will remain until the hero dies, unless it is replaced with a different empowerment. A hero can have, cannot have more than one empowerment per slot. If a second empowerment is purchased for that slot, they must discard the previous one. 
Uh, a discarded empowerment can be subsequently purchased again. Nice. Finally, each empowerment can be used by two heroes at most. You cannot have three or more heroes with the same empowerment. Right. Note that empowerment cards cannot be exchanged once assigned to a hero. Interesting. So it says you can have one empowerment per model, but two of them can have the same one. So I presume you can yeah. buy two of the same. I'm guessing so. That would be what that would mean. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because there's two high-ish crystal etching, for example. I'm not sure if it was trying to say, like, oh, yeah, you can have... Um, you can have one guy, one Realmstone empowerment can be on two characters. It mm. doesn't mean that. No. Okay, so we've got loads of loads of stuff to go through. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to have a read and have a look. This is thrilling for you. This is thrilling. So yeah. So there's two piles. So I'm gonna like split them. I think this makes sense, right? Emblematic, null paper. No, we haven't had one of them yet. High crystal etching. Transmutable coating. I feel I chucked them on the all on the floor yesterday. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll split them into two parts so we can both look at the same time. But now this is going terribly. Yeah. Um, so if you want help, that'd be great. Well, what do you want me to do? I don't know. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm trying to, like, put them all together. Featherlight weapon. Cycle stone. I'm looking at it. It's like playing Snap. This is what's happening right now. How's everybody else's day been? Have you all had good weekends? What have you been up to? Please entertain me while he does this really boring thing. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Right, okay. You take these. We're going we're gonna to play Go Fish. I never played Have you Go got Fish. any Jadeite inlays? No, you haven't. No. There you go, you win one. So That's there's good. a pile. Uh, Ether shaped sharpened edge. No, you haven't. Here you go. Have you got any Arbor Amber Bone Anklets? Yes. Okay, you lose that one. Celestium Rangefinder. Yes. You lose that one. Null Tempered Plating. Yes. Okay, right, that's good. So we've got a pile. There's basically there's two of each. That's what we've learnt. Um, and we basically get to spend it. So it looks like Realmstone stuff is quite expensive. I only have one realm stone. I don't think I can buy anything with one realm stone. <laughs> but important to note, this is a co-op game. So you yes. are actively encouraged, as much as it pains me to do so, you are actively encouraged to pull your realm stone together mm -hmm. and think about who would be strongest with what weapon um, that would be available to anybody with what you've got. So altogether, we would have four realm stone. Yeah, so basically... So we can go I... and look through the things that cost four and figure or out less. what we should... Or less, yeah. yeah which I've just done. So we've got Transmutable Coating, which is basically gives a hero defense D8, uh, which Glorio already has, and so does Emelda. So does Yelson. But Cleona doesn't. Cleona's got the horrible 50-50 bone, bone die. The D6. Yeah. Okay. Then there's Fortified Shadow Weave, which is gives a hero agility D8. Hey, thank you very much for the resub, James. Really appreciate it. Four months in a row. Hell yeah. Thank you very much, man. Four months. That's a long time. Also, love the candles eerie setup. Thanks, man. Yeah, we've been do we've been going hard. Yeah, thanks for the Prime, James. If you've got Prime on Twitch, then make sure you use it. You're literally taking money from Jeff Bezos, and that's always a good thing. Um, but if you don't have it, and you or you don't use Twitch, you can also become a member here on YouTube and get extra content, and extra bar reports as well. Um, so there's this one. Uh, Featherlight weapon. The hero can treat one reaction dice as a six, which is only two. Not too bad. Jedi inlay to give a hero vitality D D8 as well. So there's a lot to change the dice. These aren't as good as I was hoping. No. I hope we like nice, make so your sword on fire, but it's not. It's like you switch your dice, which is good. You know it makes sense. Um, the Celestium Rangefinder change the first damage value of this hero's range type weapon to two, unless it would be higher. <laughs> My apologies. So I just hiccuped at the same time as breathing. That was the worst thing ever. Um. What was that? So change, what was that Celestium called? Rangefinder. Celestium, oh. change the first damage value of this hero's ranged weapon type. Tattoo. Well, Cleona has a ranged weapon, Heaven's Vault rubbish. Stilettos, and it's two on a crit and it's one on a not yeah. crit, so but it does make... dumb people. So that could be really good to have for her. Yeah, and that costs three. Um, otherwise, there's another one, Cycle, Cycle Stone Alloy, which is the same but for melee weapons. 
Okay, but we've not got anybody whose melee weapons do just one, do we? We have Prince Glorio, who oh. has melee weapon that does just one, until he's, until he's better. Does, do they not four, save for it? They don't, do they not? Or for four, you can increase the damage value of this hero's melee type action by plus one, plus zero. So that just be straight up plus one all the time. However, if he... Okay, I think we're going to pick between Celestian Rangefinder and that mm -hmm. one. Because when Cleona, even when Cleona is inspired... Hey, thanks for the host, Jake. Really appreciate it, man. Even when Cleona is inspired, her first damage roll is a one on her Heaven's Bolt. Mm. So I'm going to make the case for Celestian Rangefinder. Even when she's inspired? Even when she's inspired, mm. it's still one. Because whereas Glorio, when he's not inspired, it's, it's shit. It's one. And it's better when he's inspired, right? Mm -hmm. So you would, it would be pointless. Mm -hmm. Whereas Cleona would be able to keep it and use it to keep that at two. Even when she is inspired, therefore ameliorating... The overall chances of us putting damage out, especially if the person, person, if the character is stunned that she is attacking, I feel that could be more beneficial to the party mm. as a whole. The problem is, is with that speech, as as great as it was, it was it, fantastic. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That it only costs three. Yeah. And we have four. Mm -hmm. Nothing costs one. No. And if we don't use it, it gets lost. Gone. Okay, so you think that instead of using it for something that would be useful, we spend it on something that would be less good, just for the sake of not losing one. But this gives all melee weapons plus one damage. That that person has? Yeah. Yeah. Which means on Yeltsin, you'd be doing minimum three. Yeah, but that's not being equipped to him, is it? Because you want to equip it to Glorio. Yes. So don't come at me so with your two, bullshit saying Yeltsin can three, have it, when it's three, not... Th three, three. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's a tough choice, you know? It's what... not. You've made your mind up. We'll use what that do you one. think? You want Celestian Rangefinder to make clear in a bear. Yeah, I do. She's pretty sucky, to be fair, isn't she? But, like, yeah, because when Chat, she's not... Chat, what do you think? Should we spend she's... it on Glorio? Oh, Glorio. They are, aren't they? Or should we spend it on Cleona? Cleona? But when she's not inspired, she's just 1-3 or 1-1. One, one. So she doesn't put out a lot of damage. So I thought Maybe that would be a better issue. suit. Maybe that's her issue. Maybe she should put out more damage, then she can have this upgrade. I'm too tired to even bother arguing with you, so just keep it for your little... It's not arguing, it's, it's a meme. Everyone's saying Gloria, so that means we have to give it to... Gleona. Let's give it to Gloria. We're going to give it to Cleona. We're going to spend no, no, Celestian don't, because... Rangefinder. I don't uh, want it, it's shit, I don't want it. Give it to Gloria because... I've already put the card away. No, you haven't, you're just holding it. So, give it to Gloria because then you're not wasting one realm stone and your person is better... For when he runs away from all the fights, he'll be better at running away from them. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody won't hate me. So it's, No one's going to hate you. I think we should spend it on... The thing, I've just looked, there's not many... There's only two that cost two, and they're both pretty rubbish. Um, so True. I think Everyone's saying that we should buy two for two. There's, yeah, it's, there's I think many. the minimum is like... The minimum of a good one is like three, I think, to be honest. Yeah, Gumbelina says, give others a chance <clears> you <throat> to shine, Gloria, you swine. I liked it because it rhymed. So we'll spend three on Celestian Rangefinder to give it to Cleona. Are you sure? Yeah, and it goes under your card there. It does. And then the little black bit sticks out the bottom. Gloria is already pretty metal, to be fair. This is the thing, because like, he's already... It's not that... It's not that I don't want him to be better. He's already good, whereas she's not already good. So I want, them, I want her to have a little bit to be worth what she's doing, you know? It's good she can stun people, but when it does one damage, it's like... Yeah, but now it's going to do two. Yeah, exactly, right? That's cool. That's cool. Okay. even when she's inspired, it still does one damage if you don't crit, yeah, which, which I think is a which bit... Sucks. Like, sucks. I don't think anyone else sucks does one damage time. as a minimum when they're on inspired, so... I love Cleona, but you're making it hard for me to love you with your terrible mm. stats, so... Okay, so I just need to quickly build the treasure deck. This goes in the bin, yeah? And Well, yeah, I need four ones. One, There's a one. Two, three, four. Hope you're enjoying the admin. Yeah, this is what you have to do in between games. So then I go one, top, two in the middle. Okay, we are almost ready to play. You're playing? Do you want me to talk about what we're playing? <clears throat> um. Or you shuffle. I was just about to give you them and tell. I will tell the chat what we're playing. We are going to be playing Deliverance. The heroes try to help the citizenry. Citizenry. Jesus, you sure you don't want me to tell them? Escape the path of a suffocating grave tide. 
An endless spell that roams the streets, protecting the wolf's bastions and keeping the people of Ulfunkarn in check. As lives are saved, hope returns to the city and fear will shrink. However, Radakar's minions will be left to grow his influence elsewhere. So this one essentially balances fear, but grows influence at the same time. Um, so what we're basically going to be doing is, there is... Now, I know Ash at GMG has an actual suffocating grave tide. I don't. There is a token, which looks like this. Um, and this is the suffocating grave tide. So it's essentially a mass of undead souls that's being controlled by a sorcerer somewhere. Probably Radical, maybe someone else. Maybe the old man with the little candle could be him. It's essentially a tidal wave of souls. If you've seen The Mummy 2, oh. right? Do you know where he, he gets yeah. the, the face in the sand? And he's like, you know that one? What? That, that is basically what it is. It's one of them. So We'll have a chat after about how great the Mummy films <laughs> are because I'm a staunch defender of the Mummy films. Cinematic masterpieces. What was that? It's the rangefinder that you you don't need because I gave you one. There's two. Oh, okay. So this mission is a little bit different. So whilst we're basically... Hey, thanks so much to the host. Where the Fnords, I really appreciate it. Uh, so basically, rather than having a set map, as you can see, we don't have one. I'm Hooray. stressed about the, the, the space for this one, but I think we'll make it work. Also, this camera shouldn't die anymore, so that's always good. And there's a little bit less glare as well. I've been trying different stuff out. So we don't have a set map in this one. Essentially, what we have is a deck of cards that are here, which essentially we're going to be drawing and like laying out the map. But also, whilst the map is getting bigger, it's equally getting smaller because every time the, tide, the Grave Tide token touches a tile, everything on it either dies or gets damaged and then the tile gets removed. So it's like a side scroller. <laughs> it's, it's a side vertical scroller, yeah. yes. Horizontal scroller, not the... yes. Yes! You know what I mean. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So it says, instead of preparing a combat deck, the leader builds an exploration deck, as explains on page 37, which we have. I'm just going to make sure I've built it properly, because sometimes it tells you to take out a couple of cards. Um, place a code, gateway. To build the exploration deck, takes the exploration cards and shuffles them. This is the exploration deck. Okay, thank you for telling me how to build the exploration deck. Why do you just say to get the deck of cards? Okay. <laughs> and it's like, build the deck. How do you build the deck? Because they didn't publish your article. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, when an exploration card is drawn, uh, there are citizens nearby that need to be warned of the approach of the suffocating grave tide. Mm -hmm. A hero on a board tile whose exploration card is face up and has the... I don't know what the sort of symbol that is. I'm going to show you one of those. A little banner. So when we draw okay. one of those, um, we can make a warn action on a 6+. plus. Oh, nice. So we can let people know. Yeah, that's pretty altruistic. Only if there are no hostiles on the board tile. If they do, turn the exploration card face down and advance the quest token clockwise one space. Okay. So that's what we have to do. We have to warn the citizens that there's a the Mummy 2 is coming after us. Uh, it, that's what we're going to refer it to, the Mummy 2. Okay. Not anything else, just the Mummy 2. Um, and that's what we have to do. So the suffocating grave tide, when the nightfall token reaches the third space on the nightfall tracker, could you Which point is it, why now I get this is why there's this one's a different colour, right? Which is marked in dark blue. It's the opposite. Place the suffocating grave tide token on the drop zone during that turn's quest step. Oh, so we get like a wee bit of a head start, mm. which is good. Okay, cool. Or if it is the event phase, the next turn's quest step. If the nightfall token reaches this space a second time during the same journey, the rules do not apply and the suffocating grave tide is not affected. Hold it. If it reaches this space for a second time. Yeah, but but that's basically... You've put them tokens the wrong way back around, by the way. Yeah, because they're different size. But basically, the clock technically always goes back round, but it never goes back to daytime. Right. In each subsequent quest step, check to see if there are any hostiles or heroes on a board tile with the suffocating grave tide token. Any hostiles on that board tile are slain. Oh. And any heroes on that board tile are placed on the nearest empty space on an adjacent board tile and take two damage. If no space are available or a hero is buried when they would be removed, the hero is taken out of action. Right. Any remaining models or tokens on that board tile are removed. The leader then moves the suffocating grave tile to an adjacent board tile, removes the board tile, and the suffocating grave tile was on. In addition to any mysterious objectives, lich gates, and gateways connected to the board tile. So that's it. That's basically what happens. So we're going to be laying out the board, but after like two turns, 
the grave tide is going to be taking the board away again. Yeah, which will become a lot simpler as we do it, I imagine, because that was very whistle stop. So I imagine yes. that as we do it, we will explain it as we go. And yeah. it will so essentially, be... we're running away from the grave tide yeah. and we've got to... Gloria warn... will be great at that. Yes, and we've got to warn the citizens eight times and escape. Cool. Okay. I have faith we can do that. So That's we get a point do. when we warn them, right? Yes, we're okay. on six. We need a six on the dice to do that. So I imagine our destiny dice are going to be very reliant. Don't on... let me roll them then. No. Okay, so what we need is a closed gateway here, mm -hmm. and then um, yeah, are you ready to play Deliverance? I, I am. I'll put the music. Why has the music stopped? One moment. The Maybe music if you used custom fields instead, it wouldn't. Custom <laughs> fields instead of let me down. I've got the chocolate bag again. I know everyone's really invested in the chocolate bag. Oh, yeah. Mm. Is that just straight up not working? I know it is working. There it is. There it is. Cool. Right then. Are you ready to play Deliverance once again? Yes. Okay. Cool. Let me just get this page open about the, the, the exploration. <clears throat> so basically, we have to explore, do an explore action to... Um, a flip, right? It is, yeah. We have to do an explore action to open the gate and then we draw a card. Cool. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we begin the turn, as always, with... This has got a lot of bookkeeping in this one because I'm going to build a bloody board while we're doing it. It'll be fine, though. It'll be fine. We begin the turn with the Nightfall step. The Nightfall ticks over one, as always, and then we roll the Quest step, which we have the Destiny phase. So would you like to roll the Destiny dice to see what we have this turn? So we're looking for anything that's not doubles, which means we have a one, a three, and a five. The doubles are discarded. Do you guys even play with your hair the same way? Thanks, board breaker. <laughs> okay, so let's do our activation rolls. I've got Captain Amelda Braskov. She's got a six. That's always good. Mm -hmm. We like the sixes this game. I'm going to go for Yeltsin. Okay. Oh, not quite. You got a one, a three, a four, and a five. Okay. We have Plunge Glorio. Oh, he rolled a six as well. He's ready to warn some citizens of what's going on. You know, chilling. Oh, good lord. Um, that hey, is not a six. These dice are rolling like I feel. All right, okay. okay. Are you happy with the order on the board, or would you like to swap Cleona and Amelda? I would like that? to swap them so we're kind of like me, you, me, you, so we're not like just one person leading. Yeah, it makes there. sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing no warning this turn, apparently. No, my dice I haven't roll. got our tokens out for our initiative. What do you think you can remember? Yeah. Oh, God, they're in this little pot. I'll sort it. You sort that, you get that out. Yeah, yeah that, I'm done. I'm waiting for you now. I thought you had to do the... No, I've done everything. I'm going to have I'll to put, get the night one by I'll one. I'll put them in a little Somebody thing. Somebody wedge that... them in. I didn't wedge them in. They've fallen in. Okay. We've got, we got to do the initiative order. Have we got anything to pick it out with? I've got a knife. A uh, knife? No. good. Beautiful. That worked. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Right then. So if you can lay out the tokens for us and we don't use that pot again for them, I think that'd be a good idea. Right then, we have the activation step. Let us begin. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better. So we initially we have enemy, enemy, Glorio, enemy, Amelda, Yeltsin, enemy, Cleona. But we don't have any enemies as of yet. But it says when you build an exploration deck, you place the set, you set up the tile Next to please, leader places the closed gateway at the furthest part away. Um, first, the leader then gathers the required hostiles from the available hostiles. If there are not enough models, use the no more models rules. You place the mysterious objective on the board tile with no adjacent hostiles. Then deploy as many hostiles as possible from the new hostile group. Um, and then when the new hostile group is deployed to the battlefield, you'll need to add the corresponding initiative card at the end of the combat track in the order the hostile groups were deployed. This means it will be act activated later on this turn. I'm just double checking how it works. You essentially always put them in number one. So we don't have any hostiles, so I don't even think we put the hostile cards in there. You know? Mm -hmm. I think that's right. So that's our order. Are you happy with that? 
Yeah. Then I go to number one. Well, I mean, we, we can't get out of the the thing. We have to do a search action at four plus. Okay. No, but as in, like, Gloria is here. Mm-hmm. And Melda is there. Yeah, so we'll put Melda yeah. first, but we'll just do the free swap. Okay? Okay. So she'll go first. Uh, she's going to spend a six. Hey, thanks so much for the host. Hellstorm guy. Really appreciate it. We're going to do a host and draw an exploration card. And then we have to find the relevant tile. It's a big square one with a hole in the middle. This is going to be the only issue. I found it anyway. That was quite good, actually. So what we have to do is you have to place it with one gateway, touching where we are. And then we put a closed gateway. Thanks, this is not what I want. <laughs> Furthest away from the door, so it can either go here or here or here. So we'll put it there for now. Um, and then we put this here that's a mysterious objective that's a mysterious objective we put a lich gate here we go a lich gate here and then we draw the enemies because it has one enemy and this one does have citizens in so we do have to warn them in there oops wrong card wrong deck and for the enemies we've drawn two dead walker zombies and they'll go there and there okay i think that's how it works that sounds right does that sound right? I Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I have no idea. Okay. So we will see. I'm just going to double check if I've done that right. So you draw because a card. it seems like a really small square for us to have to kill them and get to the other side. Yeah, well, we've just got to get to the other gateway. Set up the board tile that takes a board tile and places it. So one of the gateway locations shown on the exploration card Um and lines it up with a closed gateway on the battlefield. Once this is done, flip the closed gateway over while keeping it in the same place so it becomes an open gateway. So basically... That's us being able the... to enter the room. Yeah, so that flips like that. Um, once this is done, there are some additional rules the leader must follow. The ball tile cannot be placed if there's any lich gate touching another ball tile, etc. You can't have the enemies coming in from another ball no. tile. Then you place a closed gateway in the gateway location shown on the exploration card that is furthest away from the gateway that has just become open, which we've done. Which is going to be directly opposite. Yeah, so we basically get a chip, we get a choice because there's three that are all at equidistant. The leader draws one encounter card for each sword symbol on the exploration card and places that card in the earliest available space above the combat track. Hostiles are determined using the rules under drawing encounter cards. If there are no room for encounter cards on the combat track, no encounter card is drawn. Deploy each hostile group to the board in the order they were drawn using the following rules. Get the models. If there's a mysterious objective on the board tile with no adjacent hostile, deploy as many hostiles as possible from the new hostile group in the spaces adjacent to the mysterious objective. Where possible, deploy small hostiles in the same space as one of the hostile from their group. Um, so when it says in the morning to you. Hey, thank you very much for the $25 tip. Really appreciate it, thank Forge you. Breaker. Was it? Yeah, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you. That's very kind of you. And the 100 bits as well. I completely missed that. It didn't come up on Twitch, you see. He was reading too intently. I was reading too intently. When it says in the first available space on the combat tracker, if we just put all our things out, then it's going to go after us. Are you sure that that That's is the right, road? yeah, because it says... When the new hostile groups are deployed to the battlefield, you need to add the corresponding initiative card to the end of the combat track in the order the hostile groups were deployed. This means that it'll be activated later that turn. Okay. So you always add them to the end. Okay. But like, if you go last, like Kileona does it, then you have enemies on the end of the mm -hmm. activation. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? Does that sound right to you? I d yeah. From what I read? You were reading super fast to the point where it was very hard to understand what you were saying. Okay. So I'm going to go for a yes. Cool. Okay. So essentially we draw cards, we put the enemies down, we put the objectives down. Then we put the enemies on the end of the activation order. Then you carry on your turn. Cool. I think that sounds right. Cool. Okay. Cool. So Cleona is going to... Uh, Cleona. Imelda is going to spend a three to run. She's going to go one, two to there. Mm hmm and then she's going to spend a one to attack. Here we go, Miss Elder, are you back? Are you gone? Is it this going to work? Round three. Third time's the charm. It is the charm. They have three wounds, so it's not quite the right charm. So she's going to attack again. Yeah. She rolls another one. She kills a dead walker zombie. 
The dead walkers on Moody Slade. That lighting doesn't look very good, so I might have to fix that in a second. Um, and I think that's it, because she's run out of dice. Okay, does she want to use any destiny ones? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cool. So she's going to try and get some um, in inspiration, fire. because she killed an enemy with three wounds. She needs to roll three or less on the quest dice. Uh, she rolled three. a three! Three bar bomb, oh, nice. Wait. Is this her time to shine? Don't much? jinx it, it's only turn one. Is this her time to shine? Okay, so after Imelda, we have Prince Glory. You know? Um, where's the bag of chocolate and booze? We're no booze tonight, but we do have the bag of chocolate. I, uh, can I show that on the internet or not? Because I do have a bottle of Amaretto under the table. Uh, no. But I do have a bag of chocolate. I think I might crack into the Maltesers right now. Come really on, you said, just nod and smile when you read rules. Yeah, that's literally what I do. Like, Set the like of... For real. <laughs> Certainly like a painter's dream, but the game might be a bit much to keep my brother. It's relatively straightforward. It's just lots happens, but it's all sequential. You okay? You yeah. advertising Maltese? No, it? the bag was turned toward me. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those games that the first turn as a setup talking. is super duper overwhelming, I think. And I'm someone who's a staunch believer in the fact that games that take too long to set up are not fun and are annoying because I'm, I'm one of those people. Can you put your hand in the dice box while you talk? So, um, so I think um, after you play a turn, like Mikey said, it's super sequential. So the order of things stays the same while you're playing it in kind of the sequence that things go in. And it's really simple to the point I, I plan on showing this to my friends. You've got no interest in Warhammer, but are board game fans, you know? Um, so yeah, it, it looks overwhelming for sure, but I think mm. it's... it's um, it is quite simple, I think. Yeah. I, I like it. It's, it's just, enjoyable too, which is the main thing. Yeah, it's one of those like kind of read twice, play once type thing. Once you've kind of got it in your head, you know what's happening. Um, so for Science Pipe, the board's so small because we're going to be building it as we go. We have like a random build. It's going to be like a, a map builder. The map's going to get be getting bigger, but there's also something chasing us, which is we're going to be making it smaller equally. Yeah. Right then, we have Glorio. So Glorio is going to spend a one to move. He's going to go one, two, three. And then he's going to be spending a three to shoot nobly. If you can hear me okay. chewing Maltese really loudly, please say and I'll stop. <laughs> so, no bless. Here we go. I think your overlay is. Yeah, it's alright. Uh, so, no bless. I'm looking for a crit, really. We don't get a crit, we get a hit. So, that's two damage. Yeah. Um, he's got one wound left. One wound? One... Is that one wound left? Oh, I was in Gloria. I was like, what? Can I spend one of our ones to move? Yeah, of course. Okay, so he's going to use that to move and move to there. And then he's going to attack with Guy Sever. Mm -hmm. He's looking for anything on the dice to kill it yeah. rather than a blank. He no, does he get it. it. He does get it. So he kills him. Boom. So because <laughs> because Gloria finished the last guy in the group, he gets the inspiration. I think you haven't heard that before, have you? I know, wake up in cold sweat in the middle of the night thinking about that. <laughs> and then, because there's no uh, enemies on this tile, he's going to spend a six to warn the citizens. Get them warned, lad. Yeah, so we get a point. Oh, dang. Okay. And, that's, and we have to get eight rather than ten this time. This is that's be how we win. Cakewalk. Cakewalk, she says. Okay. Cool. So once he's done, finished that, he's finished his turn. So he's killed one zombie. So on a three or less, he can get another inspiration. Hey, rolls a two. What a time to be alive, Feeling right? Inspired. Would you like a Malteser? Uh, thank you. Look <laughs> at your treat. Well done. Have a Malteser. Um, board break, and this is easier than Underworld. This isn't a war game. It's a it's a board game. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's cool. supposed to be like a Warhammer that feels like a board game, which is what I would call like Pariah Nexus, mm -hmm. which is Warhammer but pretend it Warhammer but pretend to be a board game. This is a board game but pretend to have Warhammer elements. It's like just a fun board game. Yeah. I think. Okay. So that's uh, Gloria done. It's now Yeltsin's turn. Cool. Well, he can't really do anything, so he's just gonna. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Can you still search? Yeah, mysterious he can, yeah, you can still search mysterious objects. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go one, two. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend my four, and I'm going to search the mysterious objective. And we yeah. call it mysterious place. Oh. What you found? <laughs> it's a crisis. Oh yay! Oh, yay! It's a crisis. Can you roll the quest dice so I can look for the crisis? <laughs> I going to say that so much every day. Oh no, it's, it's a, crisis. a crisis. One. One. Crisis one is good. Thirteen number nineteen. You want your crisis low? 
and your events high in terms yeah. of roles for what works best. A group of emaciated beggars. Emaciated. Okay. Too starved to care about the dangers present in the city and lie at the side of the street. Oh. The acting hero must choose if they wish to help the beggars or not. Would you ha like to help of them? Of course I would, yes. You would like to help them. Number 84 on page 36. Of course I would like to help them. I feel like Yeltsin would also like to help them. There's the whole point of this one is to warn people, right? That's why I feel mm. like it's... Well, the valiant hero offers a valuable trinket and some rations, which the beggars accept gratefully. After eating, the beggars are able to give the hero advice about surviving on the streets after dark. They are well practiced, having had no other choice. The acting hero must choose to discard one treasure or realm stone card they have. If they do, they gain one inspiration. Otherwise, it ends. So basically, right. would you like to discard your treasure for a uh, for an inspiration, or would you like to not bother mm. because there's no downside? My treasure is when this treasure card is used. <laughs> Grumbelina says, "Have you citizens heard of my glorious exploits and fabulous beard? Oh, and you might want to run away." <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. what Gloria would say. Literally. Have you heard that I'm... So, anyway, my treasure... That girl coast the gospel. Is... Oh, God forbid. When this treasure card is used, each hostile and hero adjacent to suffer is one damage, then discard it. Mm. So would you like to discard that for an inspiration, or yeah. would you like to keep it? Yeah, I'm going to discard it for an inspiration. Sorry if everyone thinks that's a bad idea, but... It's my treasure, and I will do what I want with it. You certainly will. Alright, what else would you like to do? Um, well, I mean, nothing, I guess. Like, you could search again, because you didn't draw a treasure card, I so the mysterious object is still there. Again. That is a smart plan. You gonna do it? Hello, everybody. What have you found? Is it treasure? Soul shot reliquary. Nice, love that. The blessed round kept within this reliquary has a devastating effect on its target. A hero with this treasure card can use it at any time during their activation. When this treasure card is used, if the attack roll for the next ranged type weapon action that this hero makes is a success, instead it is a critical success, then discard this card. Mm -hmm. Told you, you need to warn me before you put that camera back on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep that, that's really good. Yeah. Nice, nice, okay. Um, so that treasure's gone, so we removed the mysterious objective. Mm -hmm. Uh, would you like to do anything else with you dice? Uh, nah, I think I was going to save it for a reaction, but okay. it would go to a two, so I don't know. If, yeah, I'll just do that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. And then we finally have uh, Cleona, who probably the best idea for her is to go and open the gate. I think so, yeah, to be honest. So we'll spend I... a couple of ones to run. 100%. So we d a double one to one, get two, three moves. One, two, three, one, two, there we go. Spend that four, okay. open that bad boy. Here we go. We get a weird corridor. Nice. What is this? I realise you can probably see that on camera. There you go. So what shape is it? There we go. Not that one. So yeah, if you have a look, this is what we're working with. Mm -hmm. So this is where our objective is going to go, the red dot. And then you can see which gate is that one there. And then these are your closed gates. We have one enemy mm. coming. So way. now we can decide which way we'd like it to go. I think I might do it this way. Can you decide? Yeah, you can, oh, okay. as long as it touches um, a gate, you can put it in any direction. That might be cool. So we put it that way, like that. The reason, so, the reason you can do this, I think, is because um, you say you can fit it on boards. So it can... get yeah, like super long as opposed yeah. to. So that will go to there. Mm -hmm. and then we have to put put the closed gate furthest away, which is probably going to be that probably one. Probably going to be that one. So this one's going to flip to open. That's going to flip to open. Sure is. Do we have a mysterious objective? We do. We're going to put that there, and then we get a lich gate. Uh, where was it? Here. Um, lich gate's on a little nubbin. Yeah. Okay, and that's how you set up a board. Isn't it uh, beautiful? There's one sword, so we'll draw one card for enemies. It is three corpse rats, oh. which is now going to go here where the number one was. So the corpse rats take over them. So there's three corpse rats, and they're going to set up as close as they can to the mysterious objective. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Cool, cool. Have you got any other dice? You um, spent, only you Yeltsin's reaction, and I'm like, well. We had another two. For clear, I, had, I didn't know I had, I had a two. A two? Could you yeah. do anything with that two? No. Or could you do anything with the three or the five on the Destiny the board? Um, to be fair, because she's in she front... Could use the t she could use the two to move if she wanted to. She can use um, Heaven's Bolt. Okay, might be a good idea. If I use the five, um, ranged. Yeah, because she can see everyone on that board because she's in an adjacent space. So what I might do is go for the big rat. Big rat. 
with my Heaven's Bolt, which will, if Heaven's I hit, bolt. now be a two because of my lovely new weapon. Love that. So I'm going to roll for my Heaven's Bolt, and it will stun them, importantly. Love that. So Whee! it does crit after that's put the dice uh, box on. Which one are you shooting, sorry? Um, the big one. Yeah. Corpse rat. So he's stunned and he takes one, two damage now. Two damage because now. Because he's upgraded. Absolute baller. Absolute. I put the wrong card at the front. Uh, they have four wounds because it's the corp, the blood rat. Mm. So he's got two left. And he's stunned. And he's stunned. That's why I've lined him down. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Are you all done? Do I use the three for anything? No. You shoot again. I've got to be melee for anything else. That you I only do. shoot once per turn. Yeah. Well, no, I can shoot more than once, but it's a four plus. So. Uh, okay. Okay, so you could use the two to move and then go hit something. Because you had the two which you've moved off your board. Okay, I'll do that. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll move I'll move to here. Bap. And then, and then I'm going to use, use the, the, three to the three to attack with thrice mm -hmm. blessed me. Love that. Off you go. Um, that is one point of damage. You're hitting this one, the, the damage one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he's down to one. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Then, because mm -hmm. they are still alive, they will activate. Mm -hmm. So the corpse rats have a behaviour table. So does everyone else. But we'll roll for their behaviour. You rolled a two. Sewer Swarm. Remove all wound counters from all acting hot oh, style. Oh, sake. Well, he's and still then... stunned, though. So that's good. He still needs to get up and can't move because his activation will be taken up by standing. Yeah. And then they will uh, attack, essentially. They'll advance, so well, make yeah, they're adjacent. move and an attack. Yeah. So the one, the blood rat will just stand up because he was stunned, so he doesn't do anything else. This one will attack and get one damage. Would you like to try and defend? Yes, please. Hmm. Okay. Nothing, so you take one damage. And then this one will go one, two, and attack. And get nothing. Cool. You take one damage total. Not too bad. No, it's been there. It's been worse. It's been worse. Um, and that's it. That's it. And then the, the the activation goes to normal after that. Okay. So we could, you know, um, lose out to a rat in terms of speed. Okay. <laughs> and nobody likes that. Does that, all that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. How the game works, how mm -hmm. the boards and stuff. You're saying, mm-hmm, like you don't? No, it makes sense. You put them down. Yeah, so basically the the, re the rest of the cards go back to normal now. Yeah. So it's just how more enemies are generated is different. That's all. Okay, so we have the end phase. We have the event phase. Um, so would you like to roll the quest dice to tell yes, us the um, event that yes. happens? Number six, we've got. Number six, Burger King Footlet. Is it number six? I don't know what you're about. Burger King Footlet is. Number six, crisis. Resolve a crisis. Do you want to roll the crisis dice? Five. Five, okay. Number 23 on page 30. Number 23. Aid or ambush. A cry for help issuing from a dark alleyway uh, catches the hero's attention. The alley's shadows could hide an ambush or worse. The acting hero, which is going to be Imelda, because she's closest to the Lich Gate now. She's, yeah. If basically, if you draw it, you resolve the crisis against yourself, but if not, it's the one who's closest to the Lich Gate. Uh, we should choose to help, um, or we should choose to move on. I think Ooh. I think what you would do versus what Imelda would do are very different. Mm. I feel like Imelda would help. You think Imelda would go into the alleyway, potentially, for an ambush? Yeah, I think so, because she's very, like... The last surviving knight. She's got an axe to grind. She wants to prove that she is the strongest, and also she's got like an unwavering sense of what is right and what is wrong. Where I think is you're you? right. I think you're right. Mm. So shall we do it? Yeah, I we're think gonna so. help. We're gonna help. A veritable sea of corpse rats carpet the end of the alleyway, where a skinny young man stands atop a barrel, watching in terror as his temporary perch is slowly chewed through by the swarm. If they wish to save him. Double checking that's right. Why? Because I thought I already chose to save him. Entry 90 on page 36. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if they wish to save him, the hero must make their way to the luckless man by balancing on what detritus they can. Should we help or should we give up? <clears throat> that's why I was confused because it's like another set of choices. Mm. I think you should help him. Do you think I should keep I helping? I've, I've already gone now. 
If you got there, looked at him and gone, nah. Nah, I'm alright. I'm gonna you head know what out. I mean? That's, that's, that's right, more of a dick move. Sorry. Bad thing to do. Okay. The balancing act required of the hero is no mean feat. The acting player has 15 seconds to balance six action dice on top of one another in a single stack. If they succeed, they gain two inspiration and the crisis ends. Um, otherwise, the rescue is more difficult than anticipated. The acting hero suffers two damage and the crisis ends. This oh my god. This is the kind of shit we love, okay? This is what games should be, right? Use your brain, stack the sixes. Can you time me? I've got 15 seconds to do this. I'm Hold so sorry. Down. I haven't set this up. I didn't know this was going to be a thing. Okay, can you put, put the put dice the... box on? Yes. Put, okay. it, put it down and get ready to tap. You ready? Yeah. Ready? Go. Oh my god, how long have we got left? You should be building it in the dice box, really. So people how long have we got left? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! I was so close. Okay. Uh... <laughs> What a fun, that's a fun game. That's that more fun. So I, I take like two that. damage. I was so close to getting two inspiration and getting inspired straight away. Is she getting inspired on two? I oh, know you already got she one. Got I was going to say, my God. I've never felt so alive. That was so I was very fun. Stressed. 15 seconds is not a long time. You wait. <laughs> I, I, I say this. You wait till we play Rescue Animals on stream. Mate. It's it is not a board game today. Happy a board National game Board Game Day. Day today. And I said, <clears throat> I texted my when I was at work. I was like, if you wanted to like stream some rescue animals before, um, like as a warm up, we could do that. And he just responded with a laughing face and nothing else. So I assume that was a no. Wait, did you have to put them in order? No, Moon, I just had to use six dice. I probably should have started with the D6s. That's why I said to you, start with the D6s, but then you like. And then go to these. And then put the red ones on top. Surface area, bro. Yeah. No, terrible. Okay. Hopefully you could see that. My apologies if you couldn't. Um, so that's the end of the crisis step. Mm -hmm. Then we have the nightfall step. Ow. I'm going to move the nightfall along one then, yeah? Mm hmm Yeah. The nightfall step. So we are on... Oh, it's the, the, it's blue. the blue one. So the grave time token will appear on this tile. Uh-oh. Next turn, it will move. Uh-oh. Oh, spaghetti -o, indeed. Mm. Okay. Um, so we've done that. Then we have... Uh, the quest step, which I don't think anything happens. Uh, that's why we. I don't think anything happens in the quest step. Having two books is good, but also bad. Insightful. Mm. It's just like two books to flip through. Uh, okay, it's just the destiny phase in the quest step. Cool. I'm going to roll the destiny dice then. Yeah, go for it. So what on? destiny dice do we have today? Oh dear. I'm so sorry. Uh, we, we have, have a four. We have a one. We, we have, have a four. Because you remove all the doubles. Um, Are you ever going to, like roll these so <laughs> I don't have to roll them. <laughs> yeah, Hold five, it. Sixes. At the start of the initiative that this player is... Oh no, I'm not going to... I've not rolled Cleona's activation dice yet. This time. A one, one and a six. So she's going to be using one of them to warn the citizens, I reckon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen. Nice. Oh, I keep getting fives, no not sixes. sixes. Oh. I like to collect them one at a time. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Glorio! Glorio's going to be killing some rats today. So then I'm only rolling three for Cleona because she's got some damage. Yep. 442. 442. I'm doing a no warning when I'm doing plenty of door opening, so. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, the initiative step. Let's see the order of this turn. Ermelda, Gleona, Ladies First, Yelson, Glorio, and then finally the rats. The rats are likely to disappear, though. Because if we don't kill them in four activations, we need to stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Happy with the order? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, cool. So we will start with Ilmelda. She will spend a one to move. She will go one to spend another one to move again. Um, you can move through me, remember? Yeah. I can't end there, technically. So I guess I'll have to end there rather than go there, then there. Yeah, because you'd have to end there because you've got to end when you hit a hostile. Yeah. So that would be the next like adjacent spot. Now, can I use the destiny dice for... There's, there's actually no point because I've just realised even if... Um, I attack. I can't use the six to warn because there's still hostiles on the thing. So I'll just spend one to attack. So you can only warn after the hostiles are cleared. Can't right? warn whilst there's hostiles on the same tile. They don't Understood. want to come out because it's scary. So at least has Gloria got a six? No. Oh, dang. So we can't even warn. Dang. Huh? Nabbit. Okay. We can't warn because we've not got any sixes after Imelda. Nope. 
Um, Goodness. Goodness. Unless she swapped order, which I probably should have done first. Well, we didn't. She should have gone last. You've committed. Yes. So she'll attack a rat with a four. She gets a crit. She kills it. Oh my god. Today's her day. You want to roll for your inspo? Uh, I think she's done, yeah. Can I use the four to recuperate? The destiny four. Yeah. Let me um, ignore so Fiona's to recuperate. Okay. Yeah, well. She doesn't. Deserved. Right. Uh, so does she gain inspiration? No. Okay. Cool. So that is Amelda done. Mm -hmm. Now we move on to Cleon. Cleo. What does Cleona like to do? Cleona would very much like to use i can't use my ranged weapon can i actually because they're both adjacent to me technically mm -hmm. so i'm going to use my thrice blessed mace nice. on the one that to my left okay you hit it does one damage one whole damage they've got two left um i'm gonna do it again i'm doing it i'll do it again a hit another one damage left. and i've got another one i might as well try and finish it off you yeah. do you killed the rat well done uh, is that it? That's her done, yeah. Cool. All right, then. So now we go to Yelson. What do you like to do? He would like to spend a two. Oh. No. So one. There you go. That's Gloria. That's Gloria. Ew, gross. Uh, to go one, two. Can I go three, mm -hmm. four? Yeah, if you spent like a run, so three plus. Um, okay, I'll change that two to a three. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my judgment of five. The blood rats will accept your judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough people do accept my judgment. Oh no! Um, no, they don't. <laughs> oh, we're going to do it again. Can you shoot judgment twice? No, I can't. Well, spotted. Um, I'm going to use that two to go. <laughs> oh, God, I found it. To go here. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to go in with the. Ardent blade. Ardent blade. There's one, one. Two hit. damage. Two damage. He's got two left. Uh, but I can go in with literally my favourite thing in the universe, my firewood stakes. You sure can. You get a hit, he dies. Oh no. no, I hate these ones. These ones are my nemesis. Okay. Okay. Nothing. No. All right then. Uh, Glyn says, does Cleona inspire on a three or less? Um, they all inspire on three. Don't they? I, I imagine he's talking about her path to glory because you can give up dice to inspire, right? Yes, you can give up. Basically, you can. I should have done it then, but because I only have three, I didn't want to use. I didn't want to bin off my activations. But essentially, um, Cleona's path to glory reads: At the start of the initiative step, this hero's player can choose to discard one or more of his hero's activation dice that have the same score as any discarded destiny dice. For each activation dice discarded, gain one inspiration point. Mm. Um, I figured that because I've always already down one because I was wounded, I didn't want to only have two dice. Yeah. So that's that why I didn't do it that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's my story. Then we have Gloria. Yeah. So Gloria will spend a one to move. One, two, three. And he will spend a four. Um, actually, what? if you were, you couldn't go on top of Cleona because you would have to stop your movement there because of the rat, you'd be adjacent to the rat. Right? Um, so would you not have to go... Straight well, to there. I, well, I couldn't go in the room then. Oh, I suppose. Okay. Shall we check it? I just, I figured, I like, I didn't know if that was... If not, I'll just stay there and shoot then. I'll spend a four to shoot. Well, no, because you want to be able to get into the room, otherwise you're going to be... I've got more dice. I've got more dice. Okay, okay. Um, oh, yeah, she killed a rat. She killed a rat doing a roller inspiration. Oh, dang, yeah. Yeah, she's fine in the three or less. You're smart. She's got she a did ten. Not. She I'm did sorry. Not. Thank you for reminding me, though. I completely forgot. That's cool. Thank you. Uh, so Gloria will shoot the rat with noblesse. He gets a crit, which is three Thanks. damage, which kills the corpse rat. Uh, I'm not going to gain inspiration. I'm just going to automatically spend it and for three and inspire. Feeling inspired. And then he's going to spend a one and a two to go like that. No, maybe I'll go like that. Cool. Is that okay? Yeah. You know what? No, he won't. Okay. Because then no one else can do it. That's what Gloria's going to do. Feeling like a champ. Oh, unusually conscientious of him. And then on a four, he does not Man get inspiration. That was a 12. Thank you. Uh, and then the corpse rats is dead. So they get dumped. 
And that's it. That's okay. the end of the phase. Right. Okay. So, we did not warn anybody because we Weird. couldn't do that when there were still enemies warm. on the tile. However, if fingers crossed, we roll a six, we'll be able to warn on the next turn. Mm. So there's no enemies. Well, unless they spawn there, will they spawn there? The enemies won't won't spawn. Sick. So we can warn the yeah. next turn. The enemies only spawn on new tiles, as far as I'm aware. Um. I believe the gravy gravy baby will move onto this tile, right? Yeah, that's what I'm just double checking. So, um, we basically have to go to the nightfall step. So we have to do the event first. Let's do the event. You want to roll the event dice? Uh, yes. Yeah, and then tell me what you roll. Uh, nine. A nine. Uh, not this one. Born hero. The leader picks one hero that is out of action uh, to recuperate. And then if there's no hero, pick one hero and bark for make a free super action or remove, remove an ailment. So we've got two? You go, because you've got you've got a grievous wound, I've only got a okay. minor wound. So I will try and recuperate on Imelda. No. Okay. Cool. Right then. So I'm just reading what happens here. Some very intense music. It is. It's because the suffocating grave tide is right off our bum. That's why. I hate when that happens. Um I need subsequent Quest step, check to see if there's any hostiles over here on a board tile with the suffocating grave tile token. Any hostiles on that tile are slain. Um, anyway, the leader then moves the suffocating grave tile to an adjacent board tile and removes the board tile the suffocating grave tile token was on from the battlefield. In I'm the leader now. You are the leader. So you move the grave tile on. So it's going from here onto here. I'm going to put him in the middle so you can see him. Mikey, your oh. mic is dead. What's happened to my mic? Can you just turn it off? Yeah, is it you got it? It's said to you. It was my plan all along. <laughs> is that better? I'm not sure what happened there. I just decided to show me a glitch. I think I must have pressed something while it was in my pocket. Now I'm gonna move these two because he's on this tile. I'm assuming it's a he. That's it. Yeah, so like that's, a what, he. that's what happens. So the grave tide, um, Appears on a tile. This tile can still be used, but at the end of the start of the next turn, the tile is removed. That's okay. what's going to be happening. So we're going to have to keep pulling it back. I think the board, right? Yeah, we'll we'll try and like loop round and come back round like that. Nice. That's the, that's the plan. Nice. Okay. Thank you very much for that, uh, Dean. Stop. Really appreciate it. So that's the end of that. So would you like to should I roll the destiny dice? Yeah, because okay. <laughs> I clearly cannot be trusted. Ready for like five sixes. I mean, we only lose the threes. Yeah. We've it's got five of the sticks to play with, though. Yeah, which means... Which is a warn action. Warning, which is good. Yeah. Got a guaranteed point with a warn there, to be honest. Yeah, could you move the nightfall token on one, please? Thank yeah. You. Uh, so, Amelda. Uh, she's going to open some doors. Yeah. <laughs> and then Gloria. Oh, okay. He's going to warn. Warn everybody. He's feeling inspired. You could warn if you I want to, Jelsa. I warn. Yay. And then... Finally. 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 Bottom text. We have a mail there. Oh, Cleo, this not Cleo is That's not feeling good. Pretty. She's not even opening doors today. She's going to have to do a run. Okay, so the order is... Glorio! Uh, Jelson, Amelda, and Cleona. Cool. I mean, I'm happy with that. I'll use. I've got six to warn straight away. To yeah, get let's get that warned. And then he can just open the door and run through, and then the other guys can just run. Yeah, I think that's a good we idea. We could also use your higher numbers to search the mysterious objective. Yeah, yeah. You can try and get some so treasure or get some, some realm stone. stone that'd be yeah. good, huh? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so cool. we're happy with the order. Mm -hmm. No enemies. So Gloria will spend a one to move. Uh, no, won't. He'll spend a six. He'll spend a six to warn. Mm -hmm. So I'll warn the tile. So we remove this card now, and we gain a point. Yay! We're on two. We're on two. We're a quarter of the way there. Yep. He'll spend a one to move, and I'll spend a four to open the gate. So I'll move there, and we will open the gate. Were you impressed with my uh, quick fractions there? I love that. Yeah. Thank you. That's the tile we've got. Do you want to pop your dice cam on so I can show it to everybody while you try and find it? I need to see it first. Thanks. Well, I do my QVC bit. So. This is a very funny shape. Um, I'll move it a little bit closer. 
It might be so, a little bit out of focus sometimes. Yeah, but. I'm doing like that beauty YouTuber thing where I'm like, going to focus. Um, this is where we're going to have our mysterious objective on the red dot. This is a lich gate. Um, we need another table. Very interesting, I think. Very interesting shape, that one. Are you talking about the shape? Yeah, the it's, it's really good. I'm really appreciating that, that floor tile. It's that one. It's that one. Oh, that's way smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay. If I had a penny. Can I look at the card? Not as rude. <laughs> so it's that way, or it's that. Yeah. And then we put it that way, or we can put it that way. Well, I think that way, because then we could come off of there and loop it around, like you said, right? So we'll go to here, like that. Because mm -hmm. we're still on camera then, which is good. And you can loop it, because our plan was to kind of loop it to try and keep it as contained yeah. as we possibly can. So I figured and if we put it that way. That goes there. And I, need to, I still need to see the card, kid. You see what I mean? That looks smaller than it looks on there, it I does, think. Yeah. And then that goes there. Uh, but we don't have any... Oh, we don't have any mysterious objective. Yeah, we do. I'm pretty sure that's what that red dot means, right? Yeah, that's what, that's what I've been telling people it means. <laughs> We're going to pretend that that's what's happening. Yeah. So, mysterious objective. We'll put it down. Goes the here, right? Sure does. And then we draw a card. We get two open watch. Oh, guys, are you ready for this? We get two... Oh, they're pretty, to be fair. Fully painted Ulfen watch. You want to show one to the camera? Yeah. <laughs> they're really... Why don't you just... Oh, are you going to go to that camera? Yeah. The good quality camera. The good camera. The top one down one's good as well. But Guys, look. look they at are this. really good. He's done some really nice battle damage on them too, which I think is really good. Oh, God. There you go, look. Beauty YouTuber realness. Fully painted Ulfen watch. Look at this. <laughs> Progression, everyone. So I've been speed painting. Both of these took me just under two hours. This one took an hour four. This one took an hour twenty. And the other one, which you can't see, took an hour and six. So I'm actually going to be streaming this week. I'm going to be speed painting the rest of them, and we're going to try and get sub one hour and submit it to speedruns.com. Hell yeah! Okay, I dropped one. So I fully painted well, open up. watch, which is stronger than normal open watch. You can put these on the board. Okay. Put the card next to the tile. And I'll Trackies be, uh, again. I'll Tracky be, club. I'll be effing and blinding while you're in there. Well, so. Fucking blinding. Beautifully fully painted open watch. You will spawn. These guys have small bases as well. So there'll be two to a space. Um, speaking of bases, the bases for these are really pretty. Can I talk about the bases for them? Sure can. They're from Raging Heroes. And we had a big discussion actually about how best to base them. Um, because obviously it's a really, really thematic game, and um, Raging Heroes have got these beautiful bases. Um, thank you. From their Dance with Vampires that's the Dance with Vampires, that's what it's called. Yeah. And they're gorgeous. Please they're use like... custom fields instead. <laughs> Amazing oh QVC skills, Georgie. Mikey, <laughs> smile, loud you are. Playing a game and we are very, very jealous of her. We wouldn't be watching. Resting, I am going to win face ISNT right. I love it. Thanks, Steve. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you very much for the 20. Thank you very much, man. Really, really kind of you. And it's just because I'm just so strong and so good at this game that I just can't, like, um, smile. I have to concentrate so much, basically. Uh, anyway, but the bases are gorgeous because it's super thematic. We want to do anything, like, dramatic. So they're kind of, um, like, city bases, but they've got such gorgeous details on them, like little roses. They're not as kind of intense with like skulls everywhere. They're just, they're beautiful. And they're a lower profile as well. Well, they're, they're literally um, vampire themed bases. Yeah, it's they're gorgeous. They're they've got like so roses beautiful. on and stuff, so it really fits. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much, Steve. Really appreciate yeah, it. You're good you're now. And um, shall we get, carry on with Glorio? <sighs> He's only moved one. I would try to stop him, but it seems futile. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I, you, you crack on. <laughs> He's going to attack an open watch with his sword. Um, so with his sword now he gets two d8s. Nice. Are you ready? I am never being readier. Bam! Dead one. Deaders. <laughs> that, why bother painting them? They last like two seconds. Right. <laughs> That's it. That's him done. That's him done. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Ye it's Yelly boy. Yelly boy. Okay, so we've already warned on the tile. So yeah, that is so that's good a free point we've go. had. So, so basically we've got to search and then run off the tile. I'm going to search with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, ready? What did you get? Oh. Crisis. No. Okay. I was happy. 
vial of concentrated potency. Oh. This thick red liquid may be of suspicious provenance, but its effects are unquestionable. A hero with this treasure card can use it at any time during their activation. When this treasure card is used, increase the damage values of the next melee type weapon action made by this hero this turn by plus one, plus two. Then discard this card. Oh. Um, wow. <laughs> Sorry. What I'm trying that? to force my. Um, <laughs> so I've got a short shot. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I'll try that again. Put my teeth in. I've okay. got Soul Shot Reliquary, which I think is better, mm. if I'm honest. I'm not adjacent to you, so I can't give you this either. Rubbish. So. I Thin. think Mikey would appreciate a vial of potency. I am quite potent, to be fair. You could do with the... Why are you putting them in here? You could do with a pint of it, yes. Oh. Can you put them next to it? This is the realm stone that's also... God forbid, right, okay. Right, okay. Yes. So you got the treasure, so the mysterious objective is removed. Yeah. What object do you next? Yeah, so now I'm just going to leg it to that other room. Okay. Should that door not be open, the gate? Yeah, yeah it should be open. It's right, they're still in the trackies, it's okay. Um, do I do two moves? Um, yeah, I'm going to do a three. Run. That's so a four. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to use the two to go. Boop. Yeah. In fact, right. no, I'll go here. Oh, I can't you share can't. it with him, can I? You can't. Would you like to attack the orphan watch with the six, or would you like to save it? Um, I what, what I'll do. do I don't it. want to go there because oh no, you can move through me, I suppose, can't you? Yeah, and you can see through the orphan. You can see the orphan watch where you stood there. Yeah. Because it's adjacent, technically. Yeah, I'm going to go judgment. I'm going to judge the orphan watch. Oh yeah. I've already seen me in my trackies. The poor, the poor fans. <laughs> the poor fans. Okay, the poor, the poor. Life is terrible. Um, can fire I? Fireside, fire state thing. Fire, fire side talk. No, no, you can only do that if you've done damage. Uh, um, I thought it was if you just if you shot it and it didn't and it didn't kill it. Anytime it's successful, I roll successful. So you did not roll successful. Please may I use a destiny dice? Yeah, go for it. I'm, I'm gonna use, use the five. Them. Save the six. Yeah. I'll spend an inspo to also, I couldn't have done that anyway, twice. so that was completely pointless. You can't shoot the whole so... time. Do you want to, shoot, do you want to hit him with the ardent blade? No, because it's melee. Am you, I technically melee? You're technically adjacent, yeah. Technically. You're in, this, you're in an adjacent space. I feel like line of sight in this game is confusing, but also good at the same time. You stab him around the corner, that's all. Yeah, like, whoop. Elastigirl realness. Okay, yeah. I'm going to use it. ardent blade for a two? <laughs> Go for it. Hit. Cool. So that's two damage. Cool. You killed the orphan watch. Oh, damn. Cool. Cool, yeah. There's uh, me trying to shoot you and all I had to do I was... I forgot to roll for inspiration on Gloria. <gasps> Shocking. Nope. Gonna roll inspiration on Nelson. I'm gonna get two or one, right? Yeah. And yeah. I did not get either. Okay. Cool. Is that him done? That's him done. Cool, yeah. All right, then. That's him done. Now we have Imelda. 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 How many eats the Maltesers? Okay. She's gonna spend a Oh, no. I dropped one. it in the thing. It's mixed in with the tokens. Oh, God. <laughs> Four, she'll spend another three to run. One, two. She'll stand there. Um, Imelda's going to borrow the six on the destiny board, if that's okay. Yeah. Sorry, I realised the dice camera was on. She's going to warn the citizens. Strong, 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 strong. So we're going to point. That's three. Beautiful. Because it's got this little token just there. That's the basically the citizens available to warn. That's how many enemy cards you draw. Why did I not use that camera before? My... Um. Hand modelling skills have been wasted. <laughs> I know. Um, so she's going to do that. So we gain a point there. Beautiful. She's got a four left. So Search. I'm going to spend that to... In, uh, I'm going to try and recover. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes more sense. But she doesn't. Okay. Damn. I'm going to spend her inspiration to try and recover. Okay. We heal one wound. Better than nothing. Do I gain inspiration? Oh, I know. She didn't attack anything. No. So that's her done. Cool. So Cleona's going to do some mad gymnastics. To jump over everybody, yeah, basically. Makes sense. Got shock and dice though, so you got a five on the on the board. As so well. I'm gonna run with uh -huh. my three. Go for it. Ow. Um, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna use that one to move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, save the five and open the door. One, two, three. No. Oh, don't do this. How do onto I do it? Onto the Elton. Yeah. Diagonally onto Amelda. Yeah. Diagonally into the doorway. Okay, look, it's, I struggle. Okay, I struggle. <laughs> and then open the door. With the five, right? Yes. Happy? Yes. Please, my, I also use that one to try and recuperate. Do you want to do that before I draw cards? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Because, I mean, it's a one and her yeah. defense is... It's vitality you roll, it's actually, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Um, me. 
talking absolute nonsense. Oh, hello, lad. Get foods. that binned. Okay. So the card we have drawn is this one. So we can't warn anyone on here. And there's also... Why? Because there's no symbol that says we can warn them. Oh, okay. Warn I didn't realise that was And also there's the no mysterious objectives, so the enemies are just going to spawn at the Lich Gate. Disgusting. Let me find that one. What size is it? It's, it's a 3x3. Uh, three three. Three three. The other problem with them all being like weird sizes is like... I do like, like the fact that they're really different on either side, though. I think that's yeah. really good. That would just be super. I revol resorted to just looking for a shape now. Yeah, that makes sense. It's easier to be fair. Right at the bottom. Of course. Um, so we have two lich gates, so it has to go this way. So we have to move the clock. Um. It has to go yeah. that way because there's only two gates on it. Where's the other closed gate that you lose? I oh I put it in the bin oh. by accident. I shouldn't have done that. Sorry everyone for being massively incompetent. So that goes there like that. We can get another lich gate. Mhm. Mm which goes here. Lovely. So we can't score any points on this one, so we've basically got to speed run it. And then we draw three cult rats. Love it. Which are just going to spawn. Did Yolson kill the mama corpse rat, or was that somebody else? Um, I can't remember now. We'll say it's somebody else. I know each it, was time he... it was Gloria. Yeah. Because yeah. each time he kills a champion, he gets an inspiration, so I just wanted to double check. Mm -hmm. Okay, is she done? Yeah, yeah, she's done, though. Okay. Right then, cult rats. Oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> so the downside. I had a one, though, so even if I had saved it for a reaction, I couldn't have. Yeah. So. so they do a six, which is advance, and they're just going to move and attack. Can they do a zero and do nothing? <laughs> hey, thanks so much for the resub. Uh, Jamartin, five months in a row. It's crazy. Time does fly. Um, five months, uh, and it's on a Twi Twitch Prime, so thank you very much, dude. Don't forget, if you've got Twitch Prime, you get it for free if you get Amazon Prime. Steal money from Jeff Bezos, put it in my wallet instead. That's always a good thing. Definitely. Again, if you don't have Twitch Prime, you can subscribe on YouTube instead and get um, videos as well. Mm -hmm. so more back reps and stuff like that. Thank you so much to Martin, really appreciate it. Right then, rats. Ugh. They're going to attack Cleona once again because she's at the front once again. Oh, what happened to her? Yeah, and they get a single bone dice. Uh, the first one does nothing. This, the second one's going to go there and attack. Nothing, and then the other one's going to go in the other space. Top corner where she can hit another. Uh, clear on the side. Thanks so much for the host, Jamartin, as well. Thank you, Jamartin. Oh, no, it was Ginger Steve. Thank you very much for the host. Steve, thank My apologies. You. It just said Jamartin on screen for some reason. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, so the third rat will attack. Gets no! a crit, which is two damage. Would you like to okay. roll the defense yeah, dice? Yeah, God, so much. And it will be blank. I can promise you that now. Here we go. Nothing. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Nothing. Diabolical. Diabolical. Right then. Okay. So that is it. I'm really glad that I cured myself for nothing. <laughs> right. Okay. So well, now we have the event phase. Um. So would you like to roll the event dice or shall I roll it? We won't <laughs> roll though. You roll it. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly roll one. how we need roll to Roll a one. It. Is a nine acceptable? No. Okay. Born hero. We can make a free recuperate action. Me please. Yeah. Go on then. You got more damage this time. Yeah. Um. What am I rolling? Sorry. Event is high, other one is low. High event. You're rolling a recuperate, so it's vitality. My brain's just not with it today. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Hello. Hello. There we go. Remove Get two. this in the bin. Rubbish. Don't need that. Rats. I don't know them. Rats. I'm sorry. I only know power. <laughs> okay. Um. So, would you like to move the nightfall token on one? Yeah. Might have to try and scoop what it back I'm gonna, onto Yeah, screen. if you yeah. keep... I might put it, like, here. Yeah. Put it there, that's cool. For that's like cool. for this turn, because that's gonna go, right? It is about to. So as as you remove go, the sundial. So the grave tide's gonna gobble everyone up on this tile, move into this one, and this is gonna get removed. So you're gonna go home. Yeah, that's cool. It's quite I think if you can lay this out properly, this is a really, really good one. I mean obviously I'm not gonna say we're lucky because I don't have a dining room, but we we're fortunate in that we've got a very big table, you know? Mm. So we're able to kind of set out like a big board, but I think if you've got a smaller table, you do definitely have the option on this one to keep yeah. it quite compact, I think. Yeah, for sure. Which is really nice. Yeah. Um, what I was going to say, yeah, supposedly Blackstone Fortress has something very similar, but you always just add on to it, onto the end. It just goes in a straight line. Okay. So you just end up going off the table, so you have to, and it doesn't disappear. 
So it just oh, no. extends. Okay. So you have to like slide all the maps out. Because if you just like a scroller, if it extends and you could take it off, you could just pull it yeah. back and then you know. So this is just gonna. We're gonna have to move this down in a minute. But <laughs> we're, we're just gonna try and keep going around. We're in gonna try and make it like snake, you know. Uh, so in other words, Mikey commandeered the dining room to be a nerd den. I mean, yes. And then Georgie decided to move in, so it's not like she didn't know it was gonna happen. Um, so show you all the des quest destiny dice. Yes. Oh, you've not put those. We did move it on, didn't we, for that warning? Yeah. yeah. That looks right, right? Yeah. Ta da Ooh, double three. But we've got. A we've got a six. So we've got a six. warning will happen. Warning time. Warning. Warning. Glorio in the house. Glorio is here. Oh, that's gonna be that's nightmare fuel. <laughs> I never got round to putting the victory fanfare on, which should play every time uh, Glorio activates. And I forgot to put in the Gloria lap as well. Oh that no, that's so Glorio! <laughs> glory, glory, Glorio! Oh, Glorio! There you go. On. As you were. <laughs> Didn't you see for me to smile? I'm smiling. I'm Shit. having a great time. Wilson! Shite that, no. Shite. Sorry. <laughs> the, the, the filter. Bit shite, yeah. <laughs> the filter is off. I've had a very, very long day at work today, so. I was shite, Jelson, if I'm honest. I was um, a bit shy. Absolute clownery, if we're going to be quite honest. Okay, Cleona's doing better. Cleona's having a good time. I don't have any sixes, though, no. well, I will say. Are you ready to find out the initiative order? I am as so ready. Okay, here's the initiative order. You've got the dice tray on, huh? It's okay looking at that anyway. Rats. Oh, great. Uh, Jelson. Great. Cleona. Emelda and Gloria to event. Can I can we gambit in this one? You can gambit, yeah. I would really like to gambit, actually. Okay, who would like to gambit? Cleona. Okay. Because so... I don't want to have those little bastards attack me. Mm hmm uh... So Cleona spends a dice. She rolls an agility dice. Oh god, their agility is one of these rip. Do you wanna not do it then? Do you wanna do it with Yelson instead? Because Yelson's here. And he has to roll any success to change. Can I shoot through Cleona. If you can see them. So if he were to go here. Can't. If he was to move and go there. Uh, he wouldn't be able to see them, would he? Because he's not on the tile adjacent. Oh, they're, a, they're in the adjacent space to the tile. So yeah, they could see no, them. No, but if he's here. Oh, you yeah, can see them oh, because he's they're in the space adjacent. adjacent. Yeah. Yes, in that case, I'm going to gambit with Yelson then just because his agility dice is better. So I've got a higher chance of being able to be successful in what I am trying to mm. do when um, you put the sound files in will you sing them all yes i will sing i them. would i would i would <laughs> I would, <laughs> sorry go off. i would really love to say that he's only like this on camera but he's absolutely not this is this is my life this is this is what i chose for myself um got it. cool so i'm gonna swap places yeah it's perfect Cool. So, so that's the new order now. I'm just thinking that means she's not going to get completely mullered by... Are that's you trying to give me a run for my money right now? That's me doing uh, um, bid TV and so signals. I am going to... What are you going to do? You're going to be first? Yelly boy. Yelly boy. Orange boy. Um, boy. One, two. Right? Okay. You didn't so, have to move to see them, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I know, but I wanted to. Okay. <sighs> but I didn't think this through, Jack. Right. No, we're gonna make it work. Got judgment. Designers, got... make it work. I'm going to uh, uh, America's Next Top Model Project Runway for you there. Um, <laughs> Big F in the chat for Georgie suffering. Brilliant. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna shoot them from here. Okay. And then if that fails, I'm just gonna say balls to the wall, go in the room and. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Go on then, shoot one. Which one? Do you like? Shoot the big one or the little one? The big one. Big one. So that's this one. Judgment. Cool! Wanna re roll one for inspiration? <laughs> no. Okay. I just wanted to cry. Actually, to I might use an inspiration because I'm feeling uninspired, so. Hey, you got a hit. Well, that's two, I guess. Two? Okay, so you've got two wounds left. Now you can hit him with a stake. I can Stick hit him with, with a point stake. It won't work. Oh! Hello. It worked. One point. No, one point, not two. It's one point for one firewood point. stakes, yeah. Oh. When he's inspired, it becomes two. Oh, so he's got one left then. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one mm -hmm. and go 
one, two, three. Yeah. Right? I don't know. One, two, three. I don't know if you can move through hostiles. But I want to. So we have a look? I think that I should be able to. I think you should be able to. Because well. I want to do it. Um, to be honest. So, uh... You cannot move through spaces occupied by enemy model. It's just a bit of a bit of a bugger, that, show, isn't it? So yeah, because especially the way it worked with that. I did that. On I should have shot the other one first, so I could have gone through. Do you want to shoot the other one instead? Can we rewind? Yes, Can we just go? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we shot the other one to correct space. Cause now, no, knowing we can't move through enemy models. I did not know. That's fine. So that is what that was. Do you not? Uh, maybe an odd question. What is the grid size of the maps? Um, I will find out. I think they're like just over an inch. Oh, that's a weird size. Inch and a half. Yeah. Because they've got 40 mil bases on there. And, and 50s. I suppose, yeah. Yeah, um, inch and a half. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. I'm going to Ardent Blade. A decent one. Okay. You did nothing. I did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, how I'll many take that. Is that. Two damage. Which one did you hit? The big one. The corpse rat. The blood rat. And then I'm gonna do. Blah, blah, blah. Think. One oh. damage. One damage. So he's down to one. Please, may I use a one? I suppose. Off of the destiny dice. That's it's a place. one. It's a one little poot. Just so one it's little poot. A big, a big, big thing. Please. Okay. Yeah. Is Deaders and I get an inspiration. Because you killed the leader. Yeah. Nice. That's basically why I wanted to do it, because I was like, if I'm spending inspiration, I want to at least get one back. Okay. So that's um that's that. But now you can still move through me because you can move through friendly models. You can. So you don't need to worry about me standing in the doorway. Mm -hmm. So that's Yeltsin done? Yeah. Cool yeah. Right there. That rat comes around and kills me, I swear to God. <laughs> Speaking of which I the just, rat. I can't deal with this right now. Well, roll a five. Advance! So it's basically just going to hit you. I hate it so much. Okay. Nothing. Thank you, rat gods. Rat gods. Thank you, skaven gods. Skaven gods. <laughs> they're just the chaos gods. They're just a lot of skaven specific ones. Which they don't worship since they're undead rats. Oh my god, it was just a little funny they reference. They worship Nagash. <laughs> oh my god, you're literally going to like the men on Twitter. <laughs> Do you know the thing that you're really qualified to talk about? Actually, I don't think that's right. <laughs> Remember when someone tried to... Yeah, I remember. Correct my French spelling. Yeah, I remember. And then got it wrong. Um, okay. Then we have Cleona. Yes. More Cleona. She's actually. gonna be like, you know what, you Zap. <laughs> so, actually can she even because it's she ranged. Can see them. So it's but oh. it's, it's ranged so she wouldn't be able to go no, but she. she could hit them with an ardent to bleed. Brace bless me. So she's just gonna be like Yeah, like the the, the stick. I just imagine her with like a meat tender eyes, they just like <laughs> Um <laughs> And that is what she's going to do. Okay, would you like to do that then? Um, yeah, very much so, actually. Go for it. She rolls a one, which, which is... Which is one damage. Okay, so that's two left. Cool, I'm going to just do it again. Stick him in again. That's another one damage, you've got one left. And again. That's... Okay, now it's three damage. Okay. Which we could have rolled. Which would have also killed it. I'm, <laughs> I'm fully aware. So that's killed it? Yeah, it's dead as. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll inspiration for Jelson Oh, and I should do Fiona? that, yeah. Where is my... So she rolled, she did three for nothing. Oh, four, did he I mean. kill just one or two? Two. Two. So that'd be seven because one was a blood rat. No. Neither. Neither. <laughs> but Cleona has um, five left, so she's going to do a move, a run. Okay. One, two, three. Apologies about the dice pop balls again, guys. Disgraceful behaviour from you, to be quite honest. Okay. Um, do you want me to question open that door right now with a Destiny dice? No. Okay. No, it's fine. We're going to be off this tile in a second, aren't we? So. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, we've not got anything else to kill, I suppose, have yeah, we? Yeah, I mean, so... we could, but it's summon more enemies where we could just all move on. Let's do it the way that does not summon more yeah. enemies, I think. So, it's Imelda next. Imelda! Can she use the Destiny dice to search? Yeah. Okay, she's going to use that five to search. Can you draw me a treasure? I can. Is it a treasure? She didn't have treasure yet, so... Vengeful Mirror. Yes, Vengeful Mirror! <laughs> no this monsters! Mirror, this mirror can provide more protection than any steel shield until it breaks. 
A hero with his treasure card can use immediately after suffering one damage point from an adjacent hostile's weapon action. When this treasure card is used, pick a hostile adjacent to this hero. That hostile suffers one damage and that hero does not suffer that one damage point. Then discard this card. Mirror That's false. really good. We Mirror not false. You know, reverse card. Magic fan. card, magic jar. Um, we've not had that one before. That's we've pretty not. cool. Yeah, we'll keep that. So yeah, she's got a mirror. She's like, look at me now. Look at you. You're dead. <laughs> That's what she does. So she's gonna do that, mm -hmm. and then we get rid of the mysterious objective. Thank you, George. You can keep that one. Oh, thanks. Uh, and then she'll make a move. I know what. She'll spend a three to run. She'll go one, two, three, four. Beautiful. And then she'll spend a one to recuperate. I love multi-users, man. Sorry vitality. She rolled a crit. I know right. you guys didn't see it, but we get rid of that. Then she's got another one. Um, she's just going to check, I think. Yeah, man. All right. And then we have Glorio. So Glorio could go and open the gate. But yeah. Glorio is feeling so powerful, he could probably open the gate and then attack whatever appears. If Cause he it's... dies, then... Because we've got happy a six day. on the Destiny board. <laughs> if he dies, happy days, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, so we'll spend a three to run. One, two, three, four. Uh, it'll spend a four to run. So one. And then we'll spend a five on my board to open the gate. Mm -hmm. And then I've got a six here and I've got a six on my card to play with. So the gate opens. We're not going to warn have... anybody with that. Oh, no, we can't. We anyway, can't, can't we? Yeah. One, no. On here we have uh, this one. So this has got one enemy. It's a mysterious objective. And it's got a warn option available. Right. That's a funky shape, isn't That's it? That's a very funky shape. Okay, is it that one? No, it's very similar though. There. They're it's... just sitting eating Maltesers, I'll um... Yeah, yeah, you just sit and eat Maltesers and I'll do it. Then. As you can see, <laughs> um, mysterious objective in the middle with a lot of red spires, lots of different door options. So hopefully we'll try and keep it as compact as possible um, with regard to how we're moving around. Um, can't really pad this out much more, so I'm just going to kind of... I don't have it. Well, you must have it. Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Not that so one. Not that one. we'll talk about what Mikey's Not looking. Is the fact that this is like my favourite nail polish colour, but then the brand Ila Masca discontinued it. Fuming. But I find one that's kind of similar. Sorry, I mean... Similar enough that I'm going to have to try and reinvest in that one when this one runs out, so... That's where we're at. Do I hold it upside down? What do you mean? The card upside down. There's a bit of an angle on the camera, you see. Is it that one? No. No. Oh, no, wait, I lied, it is. It is? Oh, yeah, it doesn't look right. It no, it looks right. like right. a different shape, I think. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got loads of lich gates on here. We could put it that way. Or we could well, put it... We're not going to put it that my way. My thought was can maybe... Can you show me the card so I can see? Okay, go on, what was your thought? My thought was maybe, like, that... Because then could we not go that way? No, because she has to go furthest away. So it'll be okay. over here. So that then? Yeah, so then the then we could gate's go there. Be here. Annoying that people can't see it there. So it's what right. we'll, we'll do is we'll place it, then shove it all down so you can... Yeah, we're just going to move it down the floor. This one's about to disappear anyway. <clears throat> so our thought process was, if you can see it now, let me move down a little bit more, I think. Go for it. Our thought... That one doesn't matter if it's a bit squiffy because it's going in the bin. So our thought process was... This way, because it's a really funky shape, this one. So we figured, put it this way, mm -hmm. the door goes there. here, so we can loop it like we were planning on doing, you know? Yeah, that's the plan. Okay? Yeah. And then the clock is just Where was this lich gate? Do you remember? Was it here? Yeah. Cool. Happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, makes, that makes sense, I think, to put it there. So that oh. is that way, so we get a mysterious objective here. Up there, so everyone knows. Yeah, and then we draw some encounters. I'm going to sit back down and eat some more more pizza, I think, it. if I'm quite honest. It's a Sunday. Uh, so it's three dead walker zombies. Oh. Four. Like that? Yep. Yeah, I forgot they spawn around the objective, don't they? They don't spawn around the village game. No. Okay, cool. Okay, so that is Glorio done that action. He's oh, a... it's still his turn, isn't it's it? It's still Crazy, his turn, yeah. He's going to spend a six for Duelist, which lets him move and then attack automatically. Mm -hmm. And if I get any hits, it's an automatic crit if I use the sword, which I will. Which you will. So I'm going to move to there. Oh, hello. Ooh. Steady on. And he's going to hit the one on its own. Yeah, makes sense. 
Glorio's Avengers. Yeah, it's Glorio's Avengers. But Glorio is basically Iron Man. That's the worst thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> I'm going to use Guy Sever, his sword. So because I'm using Duelist, the 5 plus action, because he's inspired, um, basically any hit becomes a crit and a crit is 3 damage. Iron Man will not have done that. I'm, I'm waiting for you to say something like that. You know, <laughs> feel about Iron Man. He'll spend another 6 to attack, just yep. with Guy Sever. Um, no, I'll, I'll shoot with Noblesse. Okay. Oh, I'd never noticed before, but the gun changes. It goes from reload, this only, action can only be made once per turn, to fast shot, this weapon action can be made twice per turn. Good God. Mind so Gloria can shoot twice now. Hell yeah. We rolled a crit. It's one dead. Nice. Okay. So that's him. That's Gloria done. Because uh, we spent the six on here as well. Uh, does he gain any inspo? He does. He does. He oh, do yeah. be getting that inspo. <clears throat> Glorio and the people who just turned up, I'm sure we'll take their names later. <laughs> the people who don't matter. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Happy? Um, Sadly, Glorio's going to get attacked now. Oh, no. I'm so sad <laughs> about that. So the zombies will activate. Would you like to roll their behaviour dice for me, please? Yep. They're all an eight, which is a charge. So they're just going to stand so then attack twice. So the first one will do one damage. So Gloria will try and defend it. He will. And then the second one will attack. Very successfully, in fact. They're not going to anything. Oh. Gloria does not care. <laughs> Monsieur. Uh, no, stop. <laughs> He's just trying Gloria. to upset me today. Is that yeah. what this is? He's yeah. trying everything that you can in your arsenal to upset me. Yeah. Yeah, exactly that. At least you're honest. Right then. Okay, would you like to roll the event dice? Uh, yeah. Roll high, please. Ooh. Roll the six. Then smack in the middle. So I'll take that. Yes. Smack in the middle becomes crisis. Right then, would you like to roll again? But roll low this time. Four. Four. I mean, it's relatively low. Number 22. What's on 22, George? I'm sure we're about to find out. We are. It is a plague most foul. Oh, no. And Imelda or Come Yelson up. will be get. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, sorry, you're going to hit demonetized. <laughs> no jokes allowed. Forbidden. Um, a blood plague grips this part of the city. A quarantine prevents any form, any from leaving. Sorry. And those who try to escape are cut down by the Ulfen Watch. The, the jokes are right in themselves. I the you painted Ulfen Watch. The painted Ulfen Watch. Cries for help echo down the street. Many of those trapped there are not sick and they beg for release. The acting here must choose if they wish to help the citizens break free of the quarantine or do nothing. Well, that'll be you, right? Me or you, because oh. it's equidistant. Oh, oh no, it's not. No, I'm perfectly adjacent. So, last time I went against what else, I went with what Imelda would do, but this time I don't. It's not Imelda, it's Glorio. No, it's not, it's Imelda. Next to the Lich Gate. Not the objective, the Lich Gate. Ignore me, everyone, sorry. <laughs> yeah, crack on. Um. So, a quarantine prevents any from leaving, and those who try to escape are cut down the open watch. So, do I help them escape, even though there's a plague, which they might have, or do I leave them, because they might have a plague? Well, that's not very nice of you to use. I would help them. Plague or no plague? You would help them. Would Imelda help them? Yeah, it's Imelda. Oh, <sighs> That's her thing. Two, she one, helps people. Four, she is noble and valiant and bold, and she will do whatever she can for the good of her city. The hero surprises the guards and creates a gap in the cordon large enough for a few citizens to escape. Many are clearly free from any illness, but a few hunched figures garbed in heavy robes also make good use of the panic to escape Please the city. Please use custom fields instead. When Glorio wins this all on his own, we need a hole. Exit hero song sung by you, Mikey, but in Japanese. You know Glorio will help you. I've got to sing a whole hero exit song. I will just sing the... the ending of any anime we've seen ever. Uh, to be fair, I, I would know them word for word. <laughs> I was about to be like, Dudley, and then I was like, I literally would. That Thank would you very much to Five Steery. Appreciate it, man. Um, I will try and remember some anime. Also, stop encouraging. <laughs> I'll play some anime music when we leave. The custom field is back. Can I call dibs on the Code Geass theme tune? I was going to put um, uh, some JoJo music on. Okay. Um, so... 
as we were. Thank you very much for the five speed. Really appreciate it. Thanks for supporting the channel. Stop making him sing. Uh, basically, you. some people get out, but some of them who are diseased also get out. Okay. The, the grow the fear by one. The acting hero gains inspiration and the crisis ends. So the fear increases to eight. Oh, we don't see what happens when we help people. You get inspiration. Woo! Sorry. We're one set closer to losing, but I get inspo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she's on inspo too now. Cool. Right then, that's that. What's yeah. that done? Happy? Yeah. Okay. Sing, sing the South Park anime episode. <laughs> Um, so we're going to the nightfall step. Yeah. There's so, no issue, so can you oh. Nightfall ticks over one. It goes to there. Mm -hmm. Suffocating grave tide. Drown someone. And moves here and this is then removed. Boot him up a little bit, I think. If we put him like this so y'all can see. Yeah. And that's like a little torpedo coming at us, right? Sure is, it's very close. It's very close. Let me roll the quest dice. I'm just gonna roll them here like this. Because you can see them. How'd that go for you? Uh, I remember all the double three. We've got, we got three dice to play with. That's some runs, that's some search, that's some attacks, you know? Why is every song from an anime always a banger? We were saying this the other night, weren't we? Literally, I have... Um, I'm quite I'm quite an emotional person. <coughs> I'm going to go quite... to the bathroom. Are you actually? No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm going quite... to roll, roll activation dice while you talk. Okay, I'm quite an emotional person. So I have quite visceral and um, intense reactions to oh, two things. Sucks. I agree, and I will never forget when the the, the first time I was watching what is now one of my favourite animes ever. Chelsea. Um, hey, roll mine for I'm me. Six, okay, fine. Two, carry on. I'm talking about anime. When I listened to the theme tune of what is now one of my favourite animes oh, ever, yeah. and when it changed, oh, my God, it's like so ASMR. Um, I. Something, something shifted within me. My soul moved to a higher, she cried at a, theme tune. a higher plane, and I just, I couldn't hold it in. I just started crying. She cried. And he was like, at a theme tune. "What is wrong at with you? Show. Are you okay? Beautiful. Ah, oh, incredible. Just it, that every single one is a banger. Every, even the ones that aren't bangers, are still bops. You know. So yeah. Okay. Crack on. I've Thank had my you time. For your insightful thoughts. No, I just love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Okay, so uh, it goes Jelson, Glorio, Zombie, Cleona, and Elder. Oh, my God. Uh, but you've got some really good dice, and I don't. So would you mind <clears throat> if Amelda swapped with Jelson so she can go in, kill the zombies, right? Then you can warn the citizens straight after. Yeah, okay. Would that be okay? Neither of them are champions, so I'm not going to miss out on inspiration for no. that. No, so where she can gain inspiration. Actually, can't gain inspiration just by killing stuff. So can we do a free swap? You can get inspiration from killing them. If you kill them and then roll under, you're going to get inspiration. I have to kill three to get natural inspiration. That's my path to glory. No, what I'm saying is if you kill them, you can roll your dice. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. What, what I was saying was is that I can't do it for path to glory. She can just do it the, the traditional way. Okay. Okay. So she's gonna go first. That's okay then. She's mm -hmm. gonna spend a one to move. I rolled two ones and two twos for yeah. Emelda. She sucks. So she's gonna go one. Can't technically stop there. So we're just gonna say we can move and go there. That's okay. Yeah. What do you mean? Say? You can move wherever you want to move. Yeah, but I ended on. A oh, on a, actually, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I don't know if that's right or not, but I think it makes that's... sense. I think. Yeah. So she's gonna attack one of the zombies. It doesn't matter which. We're just gonna attack one of them. And hit it for two damage. Nice. You're going to hit it again. For another two damage, so she kills it. Dead is. Okay, and then we're going to hit it again. Here we go. Looking for a crit to kill it. Oh, <sighs> it was so horrible. But. Would you like. She's done. Pardon? I was going to say, do you want to. Can I use a Destiny Dice to attack it again? Go on. Use a one. Yeah. I was about to say, every attack she's never missed. That's the first time she's missed, I think. Maybe she, no, she missed earlier, didn't she? Isn't her name Miss Elder? Yes. So, uh, so she's done. So then let's use another Destiny dice. If you want to do that, you can do that. Yeah, she does. We're gonna attack one more time. Hey, hey we're all the crit. We didn't need it. 
So hey. if you put the desk noise back on the, the thing, otherwise we're going to get muddled up. Oh yeah, I picked up back to the... Yeah, I've flattened out the dice tray as well so it doesn't roll into the bottom. Oh, uh, okay, cool. So she's killed two. So does she gain inspiration on six or less? Yes. <gasps> she's got three. That could have been mine, but okay. Yeah, she's going to inspire. <laughs> she is much better now. She's actually going to compete. Wrong one. There we go. She's actually going to get involved this game. Because normally she never gets inspired, so she sucks. But now she's really good. A hit does three damage. Cool for you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So that's Imelda done. Um, so that's her. Then we've got Glorio. Because that's okay. Glorio can't warn. So he's... And the search is a 4 plus. But he's already got treasure. So he's going to spend a 1. I think it's realms though, though. Gloria's feeling like Cleona and Jelson want to search this time. No, he's not. Don't lie. It's like Just do the it. It's like Soldier, you know, it's like a side movie. Now. Don't ever, ever compare him to my baby. He's going to spend a 4 to open the door. Okay. That's okay. Because then, if enemies spawn, Cleona and Jelson have lots of high dice to play with. He could have used the Destiny dice to, to search, to be fair. Which would have been wise. But I've already I've committed now. I could do that anyway, if people wanted to. Um, so, we will draw the card. We have a big room. And it has two enemies on there. But we can still only warn once. Two enemies? Do you mean two? Well, I suppose it'll be two. two. Enemies. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dan. Yeah, cool. Big things. Actually, two enemies. Am I allowed to have my fun now? Not yet. Okay. So we're pretty much guaranteed to just go like that. Right? It's a big one, huh? It is a big one. And then the the exit will be here. Mm -hmm. So shall we have it here or there? Shall we have it there? Yeah, I think so. There. And there are two lich gates on here. And they will go here. And here, there's two objectives, which go here and here. And there are two enemy cards. We have Kosogi Night Guard and two Orphan Watch. Jesus. Two painted Orphan Watch from there. Okay. Cool. So they'll get added to the end of the queue. So we get two and three. And then it's the rest of Glorio's turn. So Glorio has two dice remaining. What does the chat say? I feel like I see something that says wait. Is it? Uh, when I was a kid, I used to cry to batteries not included. Really sad film about <clears throat> baby UFOs and old people being bullied by thugs. Um, still, it was the fact the Americans could say batteries without it taking half an hour, unlike every person I met in Birmingham. I knew there was hope, says Ginger Steve. So it's, it's like bat, bat, battery, yeah, to be fair. Battery. Battery, yeah. And then Dave Stacey, hello. And Moon Tunid says, I cannot have that one with the OST from RE0. Is that is that code Gios? RE0? Or is that something else? RE0, yeah. Yeah, must be. Yeah. Bops only. Bops. Bops only, please. Right then. Okay, so he's going to move with a 1. He's going to go to there. And he's going to attack with Guy Sever. I'm thinking about Suzaku. <laughs> about Suzaku, yeah. Oh, um, we just finished watching the uh, anime. So we're going to watch the film sometime in the future, aren't we? Yeah. When I'm ready. When you're ready. Have some respect. <laughs> so he's going to attack the Kosagi Night Guard. Yes. And he gets Is he nothing. though? Is and he? I'm going to spend inspiration to re-roll. Nothing. We got to put the dice box on. Didn't matter anyway. Didn't matter because it was all. <laughs> Fine yeah. banks. Okay. So that's him done. Right then. Now we go to number one, which is the three dead walker zombies. So they're actually dead. So we'll just move the night guard and that. That. No, we'll leave them there for now. We'll move them down in a minute. Okay. Then we go to Cleona. What does Cleona like to do? Cleona's gonna run off over that tile. One, two. You want to spend the three to move to there and then decide? Yeah. yeah. 
I'm gonna do that. Do you want to search? You got four on the destiny board. I'm gonna use. Okay, yes. Destiny four, please, if I may to search. Okay. Go for it. Crisis! <laughs> uh, not really relevant, but I have a volcano. Please use custom fields instead. Please use custom fields instead. You must construct additional pylons. Good stream, guys. Keep it up. Please use custom fields <laughs> so instead. Thank you very much, BN still for the five. I really appreciate it. As soon as I heard that said twice, I was like, I know who this is. <laughs> I know who this is. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank really, you. really appreciate it. It's very kind of you to send a five. So thank you very much to you. Um, but next time, uh, please use custom fields instead. Yeah, next time, if you could use custom fields, that'd be great. Thanks, man. Really. That's very kind what of you. What was the volcano thing? That sounded fun. Uh, I volcano live stream up on split screen, and it's giving me this game a sweet whistling wind background track. Very thematic. Maybe we need a volcano soundtrack rather than dramatic hey, audio, as it's right. called on Spotify. Dr dramatic audio. Yeah. Cool. Um, so you roll the crisis. Would you like to roll the crisis, please? Cry, cry die. Cry die. Nine. Nine. Not good. I'm <laughs> that, um, that innumerate that I get confused it's between nine. sixes and nines. A terrible curse. Oh, dang. A man leans against the wall, his left arm necrotizing. Necrotizing. Yeah. <laughs> From the fingertips of the <laughs> hero watches. Finger the child to read. Shut up. <laughs> Clearly the victim of a ghastly curse, it will take a magical prowess or a clean blow to help him. Cleona. Yeah. You must choose to cut off the arm or try to dispel the curse. I feel like she's a priest, so she would try and dispel the curse. Okay. I feel like that Number would be 73. thematically what what would happen. <laughs> Whether my dice rolls will alive for that is quite another question, but Um the acting hero, if the acting, acting hero is successful, not only will the man, man's life be saved, but he will maintain the use of his arm. Uh, see, I'm so So good. the acting hero must roll a d8, roll a d12 instead if they are a law master. Are you a law master? I am. Okay, you roll the red one then. Oh, well, I picked up, the, I picked yeah. up the d12. d12 <laughs> Sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, let's see if you're successful. You are successful. You gain successful. an inspiration. <laughs> Hold on. That's it. That's the end. Well done. You looked they after the man. Help people, right? Yeah, but you know, dispel. That's your thing. It is. Plagues isn't an elder's thing. Yeah, to be <laughs> fair, it's not quite. Unless it. they're, you know, I guess opposing cities if they're a plague. Well. That, that's just, you know, racism within Age of Sigma, then, isn't it? Is that what the, the hell Games Workshop's going to stand on? Die on? Sorry. I don't know. Won't you ask your flag? <laughs> Anyway, so what should I do anything else? Um, what she's gonna do? She's got three nice remaining. She's gonna move to here. Okay, she can see everyone on that file then. And then. And then. What's she gonna do after that? I'm going to use my six plus one oh. six. Don't forget, we need to warn on this tile. Oh. Gonna warn to get a point, and then use the two to attack. No, because I was going to do something special. I'm going to use. I'm going to warn with the Elson six. Okay. Is that okay? Because mm -hmm. I want to do. I've always wanted to use that spell. <laughs> um, staff of celestial devastation. Because every time staff I've used of it, celestial it's, devastation. It's, I've fluffed it. So, the action can only be made once per turn. Pick one hostile visible to this hero. So I'm going to pick these guys, and I'll explain the to you watch. why. If the roll is successful. That hostile and any other hostile in the same space suffers two damage. Then roll a blue for each hostile or hero in an adjacent space. Which if, there isn't. Yeah, but I could take potentially. They've got two wounds each. I could take so them both out, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, so what do you have to roll? Um, a thing. A thing? A red one. Do mm. so you need a success? It just says if it's successful. Yeah. It is successful. Yay! You killed the two painted orphan. The, the, two, the two orphan watch are painted are both dead once like, again basically, before doing anything. Paint all the enemies because when you've painted them, we kill them really quickly. Um, cool, okay. cool. And then I've got two. So what I'm going to do. Oh, we, we, oh, that's still there because we haven't drawn a Yeah, we did, a, we did a crisis, didn't we? Um, mm. Had a crisis. I'm going to stay there. Okay. Because if I move, then that's not really You can only move one face and it's just next to the night gun. Yeah, so I'm going to stay there. Okay. Yeah. Cool. That's her done. 
Is it Yelson? It's Yelson's turn. What would Yelson like to do? Move. Yep. To four. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. He's going to warn immediately. He's going to six to warn yeah. to remove this card, and we gain a point. Four guys, we're halfway, halfway there. there. And we're also... Jumped in and ruined it. Um, I you got am two going to. Left. You can yeah, search. I was going to say, do I search or do I? You can move an attack. I was thinking maybe I move and attack him. Mm. Um, I'm honest, because I'm. About... I don't know. All right, what do we think? Do I search or do I just attack? Probably worth searching for Realmstone whilst it's there. Okay, I'll Because it's going to get eaten by the, the grave tide otherwise. Oh. You got Realmstone. Bam. 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 One well, realm stone. Nice. Realmy boy. Okay, so we've got a bit of money for later. Bit of money in our back pocket. You got another one? That gets removed. Yeah, I, I've got a five. You could just use that to run into the room. I don't know. Do you have to? Oh, we go. Oh, yeah. I might as well use it, haven't I? May as well. Yeah, cool. I mean, he's going to attack. We can make him choose to attack me. I mean, he's going to attack what? Unless he goes, we attack everyone. Then. Yeah, to be fair, either or. So, um, so yeah, that's, which, that's um that's him done. Dunzo. So we got the Corsagi. Uh, do you want to roll these dice? He rolls a two. Ooh. He's just going to advance. So he's just going to attack. So should I make him attack Glorio or Jelson? Well, I think odds Jelson evens Glorio. Okay. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. Evens. Okay, I can roll so what I want when I want. He will attack. <laughs> He rolls four damage. Uh, Gloria will try and defend. Nothing. So four damage. So that's two grievous wounds. Two grievous wounds. Oh, yeah, two yeah, general yeah. grievous. <laughs> Generally grievous. Generally pretty grievous. <laughs> okay, cool. And that's him done. Okay. Mm -hmm. It seems like it's a really quick turn for him. I don't know why. Well, I mean, he just, he just, he doesn't have to move, you see. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it, mate. That's it. Right then, are you ready to do the end of the turn? Yeah. Event time. Shall I roll it? Yes, please. High. Ten. Nice. We like that. That was high. Very, very high. A ten is born hero. Someone can make a recuperate action. It's going to be Gloria. I think so, yeah. Here we go. Recuperate. Nothing. Rip a rooney. Rip a rooney, indeed. Okay. Nightfall step. The clock ticks. We're doing pretty well, I think. We're halfway. Yeah, so the nightfall is here. Uh, we run four points. The grave tide is going to gobble everyone up on this and move on one. It's not, it's not, I don't think it's been too bad in terms of like placing tiles and stuff. No, I was it's really concerned. a bit more painless than I thought it was going to be. I was super concerned. The reason, because we were going to play this instead of the scavenge one last time, but the reason that we didn't, because we weren't sure how much how it would, be. would Yeah, how it would go on camera. Yeah, let me just put these up for a minute. Cool. And then we'll do the Destiny die. Ooh! Mm. We got a 4, 5, and a 6. Nice. Not bad. Um, okay. Huh? That's that. Do you want to do your activation dice? Yes. Well, Sorry for these. yawning. Alright. Yes, then. Oh my god. Not me to Two, this time again. <laughs> 1, 1, and a 5. That is how you say absolutely awful. Um... Okay. Glorio. That's two. Oh, not bad Boss. though, huh? Two sixes. Bossed it. Amelda. Inspired Amelda. Mm. Gets rubbish. Hello, Mark. not bad. All right, Let me then. have a look. What did we discard? We've only got threes. Have you got a three? Yes. Do you want to ditch a three? I'm going to bin inspired? off a three to get two inspo. Two inspo. No, or... to go up to two inspo. So okay. I'm going to get one, which will take Gain me to two. Inspo. Sorry. Is there a way to make the game harder if you want to? Uh, not that I know of the end stuff. Um, I uh, will be honest. Obviously, it's not really coming up in this mission. But um, I think the way we were doing enemies is better than what it is in the game. I think, think they come in a bit slow. Because they don't come in until their next activation, if you kill them early. Yeah. Which is really slow. It basically means they're never on the board. Yeah, yeah. Um, but fair. we're we're still level what? We're level zero. We're not even level one yet. You got to get to level four to finish it. So we're not even. We're almost a quarter of the way through. And then we got to do our first decapitation. 
so but I think there are ways you could definitely house rule it to make it more difficult. Yeah, like we like could... not read the rules properly, like we did the first time we played it. <laughs> yeah, you, for a start, you could just bump the enemies up a level, I guess. If you, you could like, yeah, count yourself as level one, but actually level zero, so you bring in on more stuff. Mm, yeah. Um, it's a shout, to be honest. Yeah. You want to make it really hard, make it like Dark Souls. You activate, then your enemies activate, then you activate. That be brutal. <laughs> mm. Um. So the order we have, um. Jelson, then we have Cleona, then we have Glorio, then we have the Night Guard, then we have Imelda. Um, I think that's okay. Annoyingly, Imelda's at the end, but she got rubbish dice, so. I think mean, it makes sense though, because like those two are first, and they're up against, they're in the room, you know. So. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. All right then, let us let this begin. Let this begin. Jelson's first. Ardent Blade. The end stuff, if you played with a blindfold and one handed, that would be quite hard. No, no. Ardent Blade. Ardent Blade did nothing. Then Ardent Blade did a crit. So three damage. But he has Deathly Vigor, so on a ten. No. Cool. So three damage. Yeah, and then I'm going to I'm gonna Firewood seven. Stake him. I'm not. I'm going to wave a stake at his face. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Do you want to um, attack again? Yeah, I'm going to Ardent Blade him again. He's got seven remaining. So that... Uh, minus two. So one damage, alright, magic? Yeah. That's pissing me right off. He has um, deathly vigor. Then he's gonna Arden Blade him for nothing. Five and six. And then I'm gonna. Heck it. Arden Blade. Arden Blade him again. Hits. Two damage. Uh, does not ignore it, so two damage. He's down to four. And he takes three damage, so he's down to three. That was four. Is that three damage in addition? That's no, that. Like, another it, damage. Yeah, another damage. Okay. So it's down to three. You can't reduce it anymore. Please, may I use a destiny dice? Uh, or is that not acceptable behaviour? Depends what we've got. We've got uh, a to four, be fair. five, and a six. We could really use those for searching. <clears throat> okay. Gloria's only got two. I forgot he only had two. So he's only got it. two, yeah. Which you could probably do with. I just thought that if I crit him, he's dead. As a Ardent Blade is Celestine there. Yeah, it's the same name. It's Ardent Blade, isn't it? Mm. Um, he's done? Yeah. Happy? Yep. Okay, that's her done. Then we have Cleona. Cleona. Cleona is going to use her Heaven's Bolt. The lettos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she could kill him, you see. Um, which does two damage. Two damage now. Okay, oh. does he reduce it? He does not, so he's down to one. He's also stunned. He's also a stunned boy. He's on one wound. And she's going to do it again. Could she do it again? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's, it's not... It's not like a gun, it's like a... I thought there was one she could only use once. No, it's not her, that's Yeltsin. Yeltsin can only use judgment once. You're thinking... Ah, it's the, the ability is the stun bit, isn't it? Yeah. So, she's going to do it again. Do it again. Nothing. Um, you could spend an inspo to re-roll, or you could just leave it. No, because I'm sick of him taking all the credits. I'm going to use one. Okay, that was a waste of inspiration, so that was really great. You just got angry. I yeah. did, yeah. You just got angry and ro rolled it on purpose just to do one over Gloria. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work, no. So... You have to remember it's a cooperative game, George. So do you! Oh, no, I'm not in the mood for that today. It's not even funny. Don't touch me. Um, I'm going to move her to here. Cool. Happy? I've been happier. <laughs> Gloria will go next. And he's going to get an inspiration for He's not, because, because he's already inspired. Yeah, because I'll get inspiration. I can get probably one inspiration. Do you want to use a Destiny dice to attack? No, I don't, actually. Go on, use a four no, to attack. No, because no, then I'm a knobhead if I do that. Go on, so just so Glyn, Glyn suggested it in the chat, so I'll allow it. Because Glyn suggested it, Glyn understands me. Go on, kill the night guard. That's not even the right one. So. Yes, it is. For the thrice bless mate. Oh, for the thrice bless mate. You yeah. hit. Yes, I do. One damage. Yeah. You killed the night guard. Hooray. Hype in chat. Hype in chat. Do you want to see if you get inspired on yeah, a I 10 do. or less? I deserve it. <clears throat> Thank you, Glenn. I do love you. <sighs> I'm just never meant to be happy or to know peace. Gloria is going to spend a six to recuperate. Um... So, Vitality, he does not. Oh, shame. He's nearly dead. So? What do you mean, so? 
He's going to spend a 6 to warn to gain us a point. Then he's going to use the Destiny 5 to recuperate. Come on, crit. Have you got any inspo? No. No. Um, now. I've... Do you Imelda want to use can't it? can't search because she's only got threes. Well, this is what I was going to say. I was like, do you want to use it to search or but do you want to use it to... I could die from the to... search. This is what I'm about to say. So search or recuperate. <gasps> I forgot. Potion of coagulated vitality. When this treasure card is used, roll the D12. Uh, for each wound or grievous wound on this hero's character card and a successful roll, mm -hmm. remove that wound or grievous wound counter from this hero's character card. You're adjacent to me. Yes. So roll that. It says it says black. I um, presume it means the red ones. No, because when it means the red ones, it's red. They put it in the colour. Yeah, but the black dice doesn't have success. Oh, I suppose. Yeah. So I think they mean the red ones. Maybe it must do, huh? Yeah. So I'll roll two red ones. Why are you rolling two? For oh, each for wound or grievous wound. wound. Right, okay. On a successful roll, remove that wound counter or grievous wound counter from this hero's character card, then discard it. Here we go. Is Glorio actually OP or is he just is Mikey just being jammy? I am Mikey's just jammy. Mikey's being jammiest little bastard. So what what met. keeps happening over and over again? So Glorio's path to glory, so his ability to gain free inspiration is to finish off a group. So I go in, do the hard work, and then, and then run Glorio out of stuff. And he's like, <laughs> just kills one guy, does like one wound, and then gains info. Had a point for the warning. I did add a point. We're on five. Uh, oh no, we're, we're on a five for this one, weren't we? Because we didn't warn in here. You can't warn in here. We did. Oh, okay. So we're on six. We were on four. Damn! Okay, cool. And he gets rid of both! Okay. Hell yeah! So I was going to say, I'm not sure on the rules, but I, I'm under the impression that if you're adjacent to someone, you can give them a treasure. Yes. I was going to be like, if you fluffed With. it, I was like, you can have you can my one. anyway. No. <laughs> so basically, I've just spent the Destiny six to do the warning in here as well. Mm -hmm. We've warned in both rooms now, so we're actually on six out of eight. Hell yeah. Okay. Okay? Yes. Right then. Then it would be go to the Korsorgi Night Guard, but he's dead. Oh, wait, he's kind of, yeah. And then it goes to Amelda, who's going to run. Run. One, two, three, and then a one, two, three, four. Oh, hello. Uh, she's got two dice left, a two and a three. So she'll spend them both. And uh, run over here. Yes, I can like add them together. To <laughs> I know, just to do like, one search. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so that's her done. That is the end of the turn. Yes. Happy? Yes. So we've got to do two more rooms in the time. We've got like four turns left before it goes to nightfall, so we could probably finish this mission, depending if we roll draw well, before it goes to night. Don't say it, because now you've said it, you've jinxed it. <laughs> now you've said it, it's going to be like, <laughs> no. So we will see what happens. <laughs> Glorio, I'm simply the best, better than all the rest. He's I mean, he's quite good. He just, it just, again, he just keeps getting really jammy, and then I'm really enjoying it because it plays jammy. And it doesn't help that I'm the most like. It's a cooperative game, but Act like it because then. I'm doing the stuff and getting the inspo, you feel like I'm beating you, but I'm not beating yeah, you. But you're working not. together. We're not because you're like, oh, I have the point. I have the point. Because you, I do everything, <laughs> and then you're like, oh. I'm going to kick this person who is stunned and damaged and on one damage, Uno, and then you're like, oh, that's a real pleasure. No, no. Event time. <laughs> Eleven. We like Eleven. Inspiring effort. The leader picks a hero. That hero gains an inspiration point. The leader. It would be you if you ever became the leader. Who do you think? Um, should we get to Cleona because she's very likely to get inspired from the Destiny roll? I think that she did, did, yes. Yeah. We're on six. <laughs> not anything. The clock moves on. Yeah. Uh, we roll our Destiny dice. Oh, we lose the oh, six. No. Uh, bugger, we could have done with them. I got so excited because I saw two sixes and I was like, <laughs> oh, yes. The Gravetide gets angry and moves on one space, and this room is removed, so we could really do with. You know what? Skipping the treasure and just going to the next room, I think. Yeah, um, yeah. So we've got the Amelda. You rolled all right. You rolled in there. It's stressing me out. Is it? Yeah. Glorio. He rolled well. He's got a six. You have he a new follower. Point. Thank you. Thanks for the follow. Uh, Rene, 1984, Nissan. Nissan, uh, Suzuki, Ford. Thank you very much for the follow. I went for Rene. Rene. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to roll your... Uh, 
Dice? Yeah. So, Mr. Yen. Dave says, game is so much fun, way better than Blackstone Fortress. I've not. I've got Blackstone Fortress. I've never played it. I feel like we might play it now. Because it's a very similar system. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. It's, like you said, if it's a similar system, then that, that makes sense. I think the... Um, it sounds less refined, that's all. I but like all the... Yeah, no, I'm going to. I like all the um, like the fluff and the backstory behind Blackstone Fortress, so I'd be intrigued yeah. to play it from that perspective. But you could play as the um, the what do you call it, the robot thing. What's it called again? Iron Man. What do they What do they call it? It's something like that, I know. Um. Um. Question. And then there's Eldar as well. That's cool. Question. There's a six. Yeah. You could spend that to become inspired because Gloria has a six, so he could do the search. And so is Yelson. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to become inspired. Inspired! Order is Jelson, then we have Glorio, then we have Amelda, then we have Cleona. Now, uh, does Jelson have a door opener? He does have a door opener. He do, he do. He do. wants He's to got... go do that? Would that be okay with everyone in the chat? I think so, yeah. Okay, we'll move our clock on in prep. I'm going to put my trackies on, so I'm just going to sit back. Yeah. It's okay. Right then, let's go into... Man of, Man of Iron, that's it, not Iron Man. Man of Iron, I knew it was something to do with Iron, There's one yeah. of them in there. Okay, so that's that, we've done that, we've done that. Let's go into movement mm. for Jelson. Is that moving for you? One, two, three. I was about to presume you're spending a one to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then another one to move. Yeah. And then a four to open. Yeah. Remember that really good short story I wrote about Man of Iron? I do, yeah. We get this room. Ooh. Oh, I like that one, it's a really pretty tile. So we do, it's got enemies in, it's got a mysterious objective, and we can warn in there. Which is good. We've got a lot of warns, to be fair. Yeah. I'm going to move Want here. to tell everyone about it? About what? About that room. Why you like it so much. The room? Yeah. The room we're, we're about to draw. I was hoping you'd fill the air while oh, I Oh, sorry. Okay. Let me make them all see each other. Hold it upside down. Okay. So okay. it's got corners. Sorry. So we'll go like that. Okay. That's um, objective in the middle, as you can see. Um, doors here and here and here and here. Lich gate there. We can warn, and there is one enemy. Um, objective is. I miss my calling, man. Yeah, is that right? Have I done the right one? No, it's upside. I've got it upside down. That's not right. Oh. That's the wrong tile. <laughs> I think it's the same though. It's the same size. It's pretty because it's got like um. Carpets and stuff on it, you see? That one. Right then. So, like that. Like that. We're essentially putting it down that way. <laughs> so, Lich Gate is. It literally doesn't matter. And that goes there like that. You know what? No, we'll swap it around and do it that way. Just because then you can't put a tile there because of mm -hmm. the Lich Gate. Okay. So, that appears. And then there is one enemy on there, which is. Watch Captain Halgrim. Halgy boy. Where is he? There he is. Does he appear there? Love it. Okay. Right then. What would Jelson like to do next? Sorry, Jelson's just looking at Instagram. <laughs> All right. Um. And yeah, we can warn on there. We should put the car next to it. We've warned on this one, haven't we? We've warned everywhere now, except for the one that Captain Halgrim's on. I can't warn on there, can I? Because he's not he... while he's alive. I can see him, right? You can see him. So I could shoot a ranged weapon at him, right? You could shoot a, a wa ranged weapon at him. A, a ranged A ranged weapon. A ranged, ranged weapon, indeed. Thick things, fam. So crit. But four damage. Four damage. He has three left. Was it put a stake into his heart? Oh, very bad. Put a stake into his heart? What nope. Scottish queen? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's what he can do. So. That's all he can do? Yeah. That's Jelson done. Now it's time for Glorio. Okay. So Glorio is going to spend a three to move. Three to well, move. Well, run. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four. Then he's going to spend a five to move and attack. So go one, two to there. Like so. I realise the dice tray is in the way. And he's going to attack uh, Watch Captain Hargrim with Geist Sever. That's okay. Yeah, you go for him. He's looking for anything because it's going to count as a crit, which he does, which is three damage, which kills him. <laughs> the problem is I just spent the six to um, to do that. Can I spend a five off the destiny board instead? Yeah, of course. Okay, we'll spend a five there to do that. Then we'll spend a six to warn. 
because he's dead. So if you could check the on to seven. Yeah. And then I'll spend a four to search. Nice. That was a good turn, that one, I think. Yeah. I it's think a crisis. Love that for us. Crisis. A two. That's good. That's good, that. We like that. Number 20. Okay. Crisis time. Vengeance from beyond. An old man is being throttled by a skeleton of a long dead criminal trapped in a, in a gibbet, but oh. now animated by the foul will of the Wolf King. The acting hero must choose if they wish to help the old man or not. I think he will. Of course. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Yeah, I think he will. Number 62. The acting hero rolls a, a D8 and looks up the following results. Thank you. Would you like to tell everyone what happens? What happened? Oh! <laughs> um, you success. Yay. A one. success. A the acting hero hit. draws cards from the discovery deck until they draw treasure or realm stone. Yeah. Other cards that are drawn, such as Traps and Crisis, are shuffled back into the discovery deck after the treasure or realm stone is drawn. Nice. Okay. First one. Camera on. Do you want to put the dice cam on? I'm going to do it in here. That might be cute. Hell yeah. You ready? Liquid courage. That was quick. That's it. <laughs> um, when this treasure card is used, pick one hero or one adjacent hero. That hero gains inspiration and becomes stunned. Then discard this card. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's get drunk, boys. I'm going to use it on one of yours just to stun them. Thank you. Could use it on yours if you want. I'm alright, really. Okay. Um, and then he's going to. So we've done that. So the treasure's gone, I presume, because we've drawn treasure. Okay. But it was a crisis. Uh, no, actually, no, probably not because it wasn't a treasure drawn. No, it wasn't. From that, it was like as a consequence of a crisis, so I don't think that yeah. was. Yeah, they just spend a one to move. Wait, did you finish Captain Halgrim? Yeah. Do I gain inspiration? I do not. Oh, he's less. I, I thought he got kind of confused with the course. Less than seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. Uh, idea I suggest you not take. Only paint Glorio for the heroes for the next trip. <laughs> I will... Wario will be the first hero that's painted, I won't lie. I'm going to paint and I'm just going to get a... Tin... I'm going to speed paint all of the skeletons this week on stream. I'm just going to get a tin of Dulux. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh. I'm like a really Bit gross colour. What colour? Like, a really, like, poop brown colour. Poop brown, poop nice. Brown. I like that. Well, he's got, probably got a brown coat on, so that's a good base coat. <laughs> no, I'm going to make it like a really gross... And then you've like, got a Mel there. No, thickly green. <laughs> Who's going to do a search? Mm, well, uh, can we draw a treasure card? She's going to search this little crow. Is it treasure? Curse catcher. Oh. A popular charm against evil magic. This We've minor had this one ward, before. Have we? Minor mm. ward dissolves magic. No, so I'll try that again. Jesus Lord. This minor ward dissolves after absorbing an enemy's magic. When this treasure card is used, remove one curse token from this hero. Yes, we have. Or prevent this hero from being cursed. Do you remember that? Because I drew, I drew it and Gloria had it. And I was like, I'll probably never get cursed until I get rid of it. And then I got rid of it and not cursed. Yeah. I think it, it's good, but I don't think it's worth I think her mirror shield, more. mirror force is better. And I can, with Cleona, I can... Does Jelson want it? No. Because okay. we've got Cleona. We'll so get rid of it then. If anyone gets cursed, you can just be like, boom. We'll, we'll ditch it. But that mysterious objective goes. And then she's going to spend a one, two and a three to run. Oh, there's no four on the, door, on the board. So she's just going to run. Like so. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then it's time for Cleona. You can't do anything. <laughs> can't search. She can't. She's just going to have to run onto the board. Yeah, I think so. Leave that, leave that objective, I guess. One, two, three, four. Oh, shit. Why does Georgie hate Glorio? Because he keeps doing everything and I keep laughing. In you know what just occurred to me? What? What? Can I please use one of the Destiny dice retroactively to move Yelson? It's it's okay. It's only when it moves you get damaged. What do you mean? You're not gonna die because the grave tide's not gonna get you yet. I'll read it, but if not, yeah, you can. Yeah. Happy? Yeah. Okay. So George has realised that the grave tide is going to move onto the same tile as Gloria. Um. So we're just gonna double check how those rules work. Yeah, I don't want it to be um. I don't think it does damage straight away. Do 
in the quest in each quest step. You ready? Yep. <clears throat> in each quest step, yeah. Oh, okay. sorry. In each quest step, check to see if any hostiles are here or are on a board tile with the suffocating grave type token. Yada yada yada, take damage. The leader then moves the grave tide token to an adjacent board tile and removes the board tile tie board tile the suffocating grave tide was on. So it's basically during the quest step. We check to see if anyone's on this board with the grave tide. They take damage. Then right. it moves. So if it moves on to there now, I'm not gonna get damage. You don't get damage okay. yet. If you're still on it at the end of, at the start of the next turn, yes you would. Okay. Okay, but well, we'll do the event phase first and then we'll go back to that. So event time. Yeah. Hi. Nine. nine. Love that. Love a nine for a quest. A quest. An event die. Sorry. A nine is born hero. Is anyone damaged? Uh, no, actually. That's it. Okay, cool. No ailments. It would be make a free recuperate, get back up, or remove an ailment. We don't have any of those. Nope. So that's that. We'll do the destiny dice. Uh, I mean, we lose the twos. Mm. Well, low on there, probably. Okay, then the grave tide will do its thing. Can we warn in the room we're in? Uh, we've already done warned. Okay. In this one? Yeah. I've already warned with okay. Gloria. That's why we're on seven. Yeah, sorry, I got confused. The grave tide is going to go there. This is going to get removed. Okay, and that is time. Now it's time to roll activation dice. So I apologise, the dice camera was on there. So the grave tide's on here. If anyone's on this tile when it before it moves, you take damage or die. In Alba. She's got some good dice there. Yeah, she's done well. Gloria. He's got some alright dice. He can do warns, which is the main thing. Yeah, listen. Please Ginger Steve, custom thank you very much for the super instead. chat. As I'm eating one, can I confirm you both pronounce scones as if it rhymes with ones not like a posh person. Romies and Northers unite. It's scone. I, because I used to work in a cafe that served them, I would just say whatever the person who was ordering it would say. Nice. So if I were to have a scone, I'd be like, yeah, it's one scone. Yeah, but no, it's like that. That's clever. Can I have, what do you fancy? say? It's got a scone, I think. Yeah. Scone. I can't like on the one. spot now. Ask me randomly at some point later on when I'm not thinking about it. I will find out. It, and I'll. Yeah. I pronounce it scone like one, but I appreciate that it could be pronounced scone like cone. Mm. And I don't think there's a right answer. No, no. You have to ask that woman off countdown. Judy Dench. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay, two threes, a five and six. Evening, a bit late, and the first thing I see is another pronouncing thing. Welcome to the Health Thorns <laughs> Welcome. Curse. Pronunciations, that's all we've got. Mm. Okay. Um, what did your mum say, Georgie? Oh, my mum is basically Joanna Lumley, so she is a hard scone. Yeah. 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 Um, okay, we've got the activation step. My dad's an aggressive scum. Yeah. You know? Are you just um, mixed blood? What am I to do? <laughs> to be honest, what what am I to do? Cream first or jam first? Um, Jam first, then cream on top of the jam. Do you not just put it on one side of each other and then just... Yeah, but if you're doing it on the one, you put jam first, then cream. Because that's how the cream sticks to the jam, right? Otherwise, the jam's mm. going to get on the cream. It's tough. It's tough being a scone. I a really scone. want a scone. Scone! Oh, my God. Okay, scone. Yeah, I think it's scone. Scone. Or is it just because I said scone? I don't know. <laughs> Who am I? Tough. Tough. Okay. So the order is Cleona, Jelson, uh, Amelda. Sorry. Cleona, Glorio, Amelda, Jelson, yeah. and then the enemy who is now dead. So I'm just going to remove that already. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thank Are you happy with the order? Yeah. Is Cleona okay to go open the door? Yep. Cool. Let's go then. Cleona would like to activate first. Mm -hmm. What would she like to do? Run. Run. <laughs> there we go. You got it. Find the door to open? Yep. Okay. The open door is... Da -da -da -da. Ooh, oh, cool. there's nowhere. We can't do any um, Warning. warnings on here. <laughs> annoying because okay. that would be one more made of one this extraction the same in this i think we extract the same way yeah okay so it's on the it's going to go like that or like that i think like that you think like this no the other way you think like that yeah okay let's do some shuffling 
Apologies, guys. Small intermission. Let's move that straight down and then we'll yeah, move that all see. the way. Because that's going to remove in a minute anyway. Yeah. And that one goes to there like that. How are we? Are we just on screen? Yeah. I thought we'd get there, why not? Yeah. That's better, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Make it, we'll make that straight. We'll ignore, ignore this. It's going to go in a minute anyway. Let's go to that gate. <laughs> I mean, you can work out where you've got to go there, right? Yeah. Cool. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so this one... He was, like, here, right? I think it has that there. Oh, close gate. And then a lich gate. No lich gate! Ooh! Oh, there's no lich gate here. There is an enemy though. Mm -hmm. Who is it? Three open watch. All three painted boys. Hello. So I think what should happen here mm. is <clears throat> I think you shouldn't be able to open the door unless it's your last activation dice and then the enemy should activate straight away. Sorry, say that again. You shouldn't be able to open the door. Are you yet? okay? Do you want a minute for Instagram? Oh, sorry, you open the okay i think you should only be able to open the door if it's your last activation and then the enemy should react straight away because they're just going to stand there while we all run in and batter them because they go on the end of the activation this queue. is why it sounded weird to me when they said it but i don't it just sounds too easy you know because like you said if they don't activate until we've done everything because if you're the last one to open it that's the only downside is um I feel like that's why it's a bit confusing that they always go at the end, you know? Yeah, what it like says. It feels like, like you said, we just, they just stood like in a game until you hit like the exact space you need to go on a video game and then someone activates. They just kind of like... Yeah. Um... When a new hostile group are deployed to the battlefield, you'll need to add the corresponding initiative card to the end of the combat track in order... In the order that hostile groups were deployed, this means that they'll be activated later on this turn. But why is that one there then? Because that was already there. So in the example above, one hostile group has been deployed to the battlefield. The hostile group and carry is placed by the number three on the combat track, and as a result, the initiative card for the combat combat for the hostile group has been added to the end of the combat track. So we are doing it right. I think we're just too effective at killing them, you know. So as you can see, this is the example. So it's saying we've just drawn this one. Sorry, we've just drawn this card here. That little there's a little arrow. So then you put that one on the end. So I think we're just being too good at getting rid of them. I think, yeah, we, I think we're just timing it put, right. Set, set that on fire. Um, I think we're just timing it right to a yeah. point where um, whenever we come to open a door, we're at the start of the activation. I think so. I think that what we've done is, we've, like you said, we've timed it really well so that mm. we're not going to have any leftover. You know, like, so we're not stuck in a room with some here or some there and then to try and mm. catch up with ourselves. I think we've timed it I with... Think, I think it's a bit easy. I think that's not a very good system. I think, I think this easy. is the easiest one to win that we've played, especially because it's only to eight. Yeah, and we've nearly done it. We can't do it in this room, granted, but we've got to find one more room and then one, and then that's it, we're done. Yeah. We just leave them. Mm. We've got like four turns to do. Don't, you said it. I have three turns, so I've got three this one. You know, so I think that it's definitely yeah. the easiest one that we've done so far if we're playing it right, which we might not be. Yeah. Cream first, there's a layer of butter, but an inch thick dollop of jam on top. Nice, nice, Jim Martin. Makes sense. Shkon was how I learned, and I was from Solihull. Solihull. So is Steve, and so is, so is Fenrir. I'll say you're posh, you're chat. Solihull, you're posh. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Anyway, the game. The three painted open watch are all on the battlefield. You battle can just say open same. watch. The three painted open I'm waiting okay. for the diabats to come because I've hit some of them as well. You did, yeah. them off yet. So the three painted open watch are on the on the board, as yeah. you can see. You can see their capes are very nicely highlighted. Oh, and these so in good. Over an hour. So uh, what was they going to do next? I'm going to be speed painting these on Twitch this week as well, so make sure you follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Hells on Morgan. Link in the description if you watch it on YouTube. If you watch it on Twitch, you're already there, so make sure you follow. And I'll be painting there as well. God, that was like the end of a car advert. <laughs> so the conditions apply. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cleo is first, right? Uh, Cleo is still going. She's got two more dice. Plus the dice oh, on the board. I just looked at my thing and I was like, why are there two that are already set? Because you opened the door. Glyn yeah. says we're playing it right. So Glyn's been watching every Curse City video and ever. And Glyn, like, I would probably trust Glyn with my life at this point, so... Did you get your copy, Glyn? And you come. Hopefully I did. Um, okay. I'm gonna what use... would you like to do? Heaven Bolt stiletto. Heaven Bolt. So... And it's good because... Are you going to do that ability thing again where you kill everyone on the same tile? Um. Because there's two on the same tile. Yeah, I might do that, actually. I've only got two wounds. 
If I heaven's bolt first, I'm gonna heaven's, heaven's bolt, bolt the one who's by himself. Okay. No, I'm in for damage. two damage. Two damage. That's and one he's left. stunned. Oh, uh, he's, okay. he's dead. So doesn't matter. Yep. And then I'm gonna use that six to do staff of celestial devastation again. I'm from Lincoln, and we say scone like bone. Says Dave. See, mm -hmm. it's so. It's weird. Oh. Um. If you're from God's own country, like Yorkshire, then you say scone. After there's been that pit, they has a scum. What do you have to do next? Yeah, move. Um, <laughs> move I'm house. <laughs> yeah. Um, Not I'm on the board. Move house. Move Celestial Devastation. You want to hit? You scared her away. How many damage um, is that? So... Oh, dang. Okay, because she's become inspired, it's not two anymore. It's three okay. damage I do. Two. So they're both dead. <laughs> Pick one hostile visible to this hero. And roll that. If the roll is successful, that hostile and any other hostile on the same space suffers three damage. Yeah, they're both. They're all. They're all. all the open watch that I painted in just over an hour are dead. Basically, paint everything because we kill them <laughs> super quick. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I get inspiration. What would that have been? Two. two... Uh, you kill three. That's six of them. Yeah. No, he rolled eleven. Uh, Sadly missed out, but I'm keeping an eye out. I refuse to be scolded. Good, good one, Glenn. They'll be back in stock because they're going to get a rerun anyway. Yeah, so. this is it. I think people that do scalping for stuff like that are such bastards. Like, mm. it, like it happened with PS5 as well. I think it's just... Ugh, I hate it. Yeah. Do you want to spend a Destiny dice to run? A three? Just to run on to the next tile? Yeah, if you don't mind. I, I wasn't it. going to, but if, if you don't mind. One, two, three, four. Okay. What? Are you going to have a go at me for not doing diagonals? No. What would you have done then? Huh? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay, lovely. Is that nice? Is that okay? Yes, glory. Custom glory. fields law. Custom fields law. <laughs> Who is that? It didn't say it. It's a three pound tip from... Is it film? I can't read that from here. It's not come up on... Tw is that Twitch? Was that Twitch? I Was believe that tip? So. Thank you very much for the tip. It hasn't come up on my, my app. App, please. Please, app, work. It's crashed. Thank you very much for the tip. I don't know who sent it though. Fnord, it said. Thank you very much, Fnord. Really appreciate the tip, dude. That's very kind Fnord, of you. Yeah. Legend. Amazing. Legend. Legend amongst men. Okay, that's clear and done. Time for Glorio. Yep. That's okay. Yep. Glorio's gonna do a move. Let's do a search. Mm -hmm. Why not? Can we uh, draw a card, please? What is it? Is it treasure? We're going to get rid of the liquid courage, which is pretty bad. Innocence. Innocence. The smouldering ash of a blood-drained corpse from a cloud of smoke that undead eyes cannot penetrate. Stop looking over my shoulder doors. and be patient. <laughs> when this treasure card is used, this hero cannot make weapon actions and cannot be picked by the leader as the target of hostile weapon actions until the start of their next turn. Ooh, we can hide. Basically, hide in plain sight. Yeah, I'll get rid of liquid courage. If you so also can't, can't make weapon action. You can't attack, but you can't be attacked. Until the until your next activation. Got you. My my brain was not computing that to be honest. Can't I don't make weapon actions that cannot good. be picked by the leader as the target of a hostile weapon action until the start of the next activation, then discard this card. You can, so basically you can hide in plain sight. So I could like run into a room and then not not attack, but not yeah. be attacked. And that that's very glorious. It's very thematic. So I'll get rid of the liquid courage, sadly. Unless oh, I'm not, not adjacent to anyone. So we get rid of the mysterious objective, and then I'll make... Um, we've got a four on the destiny board, so I'll spend a one to move and then open the gate. Yeah, sounds good. So I'll spend this four. Uh, so let's have a look what we draw. Da -da 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 -da. This one. That's a funky one. But we can't warn on ah. here. Ah, oh, that's not good. Not good at all. Annoying, huh? Very annoying. Very annoying. No indeed. enemies either. Uh, oh, there's one, sorry, but there's no mysterious There objective. is, but there's no Lich Gate. So the Lich Gate, they'll spawn over here. Oh, we're getting caught up here. Hmm. Um, no objective either. No objective. It's just, a, it's just a staller. Yeah. Is it a two by, two by three? Two by... Two by three, yeah. Okay, can I see the picture again? Got a rock in the middle. So, here we go, everybody. Two by three, no mysterious objective, no warning possibilities here. Also, no lich gates. 
So the enemies are going to spawn behind us. Um, have to put it there like that. Yeah, that makes sense. They're going to spawn behind us, and there's going to be one of them. Mm. So a bit of a filler card, this one, I think. Yeah. So it's Vicross Bloodborne. Vicross Bun. Yeah. Mr. Tumnus. Mr. Tumnus. This will open. So then Gloria will make another move to here. Yeah, I love it. They're just yeeting. yeeting. They deploy at the closed door. Do they deploy at the closed door? I thought they deployed at the Lich Gate. I thought they did too, but I don't. I thought that's what they're doing all the other ones, isn't it? You deploy at the um, Lich Gate. Oh, you replace them at. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Closed door. My apologies. So it's spawn. Oh, so we're doing it wrong. Yeah, so it's spawn here. My apologies. I thought it was just like Lich Gate if there wasn't one there. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. See, Glenn is like our guardian angel. You know? Uh, line of sight guys page 26 of Roblox says you can only see enemies that are adjacent to a door in a room you are not in yeah that's what you've been doing oh so maybe we've been doing it from if you're adjacent to a tile then we can see in oh okay I don't know we'll double check if it comes up thanks Dave thank you for letting us know so the enemies die when the grave tide moves yeah the enemies die if they're still on there mm. yeah I'm going to call the Vicross Mr. Tumnus now it is Mr. Tumnus he is a little Green deer leg. Yeah. Um, so I've only got two left. Yeah. So I can't shoot. I could spend a three to shoot on the destiny board. If you want to. If you don't mind. No, go it's it. quite good. So I'll spend a three. He goes down like a lot easier he than goes down I quite would think, quick. actually, this guy. Did Glyn seem all right these rolls? I think he did. <laughs> uh, we rolled a hit, which is three damage. Maybe they got like three left. I think so. Maybe less. I think Glyn's just been watching every video available online. Glyn is like the oracle. It's amazing. Yeah. I love it so much. It's great. It's great. It's really good. It's really handy having someone who knows what they're doing. In yeah, the definitely. Because you, <laughs> I think when you're playing it, you can get very Spending like it. into it. I know I do. And I, I think that everything I'm doing is like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. So it's nice to have someone to kind of rein you back in mm. and be like, oh, steady on. I think the main thing is, is just having another eye, another set of eyes on the rule book. Yeah. Because I'm telling you what to do, but I'm also not I'm reading it fast, you know? Because I'm trying to, you know, do the, shoot the shit, you know? Um. So, then it's Imelda after Gloria. So, she's going to spend a three to run. One, two, three, four. And oh, then off. another four to run. One, two, to that. Mm -hmm. And then she'll attack. Now, she actually does damage now because she's inspired for the first time this campaign. Uh, that is three. No, it is three damage. So he's dead. I think that was it. Do they ignore damage at all? Not yeah, they do. Okay. Shadow fast. So for being shadow shot, facts. I forgot about shadow facts. She ignores that, and then for being attacked, no. So she just takes three damage there. Because she ignored it from Glorio. Um. So then Imelda will spend a six to attack again, and she does. She does four damage. Shadow facts. Does not ignore it. So. He, Dead. The six wounds yet. Fire, Mr. Tumner. Fire, Mr. Tumner. So you, you, uh... Back to Narnia, you go. <laughs> yeah. And then, do you get inspired? Six. She does get inspired. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, do. The same or lower. Uh, enemies die when they are killed. They do die when they are killed. I mean, that's a very factual statement you made. Um. So your go with Jelson. Would you like to just? absolutely run i was gonna absolutely run but you want to see if you can open a gateway when you do get there i think you can because there's a one on the board so you've got four move actions and then you could open the next door or yeah. you could search if you want to i was gonna search but i want to open the next door because i want to win yeah you know so right three well we'll spend that one first and then that one okay, so, so three one. do you mind if i intervene and no do this? please so i don't want to stand up three four six so That's that two was moves. two moves yeah spend another one another move another one, three two three okay, cool Open the door on a four. Open the door. I've got five. Not to, not to brag, but... Is it really called Shadow Facts? No, it's called Shadow Fast. Obviously, it's Shadow Fast. Okay, we draw another one. I no warning allowed. Are you having a giraffe? I'm mate? not even having a giraffe. No right, warnings I'm allowed. I'm this absolute display in the chat right now. Hello, everybody. It's my hand again. Um, Yeah, no warning again. A little bit annoyed. You know what um, all the graves in? No, it's that one. Oh, it's that one. No. 
So, yeah. A um, little bit annoyed, I will be honest with you. There is an objective, which is good. Um, at least you can kind of maybe get some treasure, some realm stone. Um, yeah. That's where we're at right now. So, I'm going to move these to here. Where does the witch gate go? Oh, uh, there. There. We don't need this card technically because um, we can't score any points off it. Oh, yeah. That goes there. This, there is this one this whole enemy. Uh, it is three Ulf and Watch. Oh, are they painted? <laughs> they are. Did you know? I did God, not. They, are. they were painted by me. Were I they? painted them in just over God, an hour. I, I, bet, I was going to say, I bet they took ages to paint, they right? They did take ages, actually. Okay, so they spawn there, like so. All right, are you ready to... You little shit. <laughs> Got you. Every time, and it's always the most unflattering angles. You don't have any unflattering You're like too late, right? Okay. Uh, would you like to attack with Jelson? You've got a three on the board. Can you do anything with that? Not from where I am. Okay. Are you happy to just carry on then? Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay. So we'll go into the orphan watch now. I've used that two as a reactable. Well, it was a three that I moved to a two as a reaction. Okay. So you could react. Uh, this is more like the Warhammer quest I know, random rooms. Yeah, it's very, it's very much random rooms as you go. Um, so we have Ulf and Watch. They're going to behave. <laughs> they're going to behave. They? No, they're not. They're going to do a dance, my card. They're going to do a move and attack. Okay. Would you like to react? I would love to react. I would love to stab one with an ardent blade. I'm pretty sure you can do it. that as a reaction. I can do a weapons action as a reaction, can you? I thought. I know you can do a shoot. Shall we just double check you can do an attack? <clears throat> do. Do, do. Finishes a move or weapon action, or is deployed. So yeah. Oh my god. You miss. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna attack with two bone dice. Bone. Bone boy. Nothing. Bony boy, no. Okay. This one's gonna move to there, and attack. Nothing. Not to blow smoke up your ass, but those bases are so so lovely. <laughs> how you yeah. how you painted those is honestly gorgeous. Did you, did you see how nice they are? Guys? Honestly, the bases are see? stunning. To be fair. Did you see how nice this skeleton is. Look at it, and now it's gonna move an attack. <laughs> yeah, that's not so nice. Ooh. It does damage. Can I try and defend? You can. Um. Box. You do not defend. You take a damage. Good. One gracious. damage. Um, to be fair, the competitive co-op and comedy between Georgie and Mike is a big positive. <laughs> Thank you. And mm. um, they're done. That's them. That is them done. Cool. Donezo. Done okay. Done so we are one step closer to um, completing the mission. We are one point away. We've, we've, I think <sighs> we've, we've been, been one point with like three rooms now. I think I we've think. been really lucky with the cards we've drawn to get all pointers, pretty much. Yeah. There's only one that what didn't have a point in, right? Up until this point. Up to the no, up until this the, point. the previous two didn't have the one oh, we're until, in. Until we've had this three yeah. three run. Yeah. There's one before that. We'll roll an event, shall we? Yeah. Two. two. That's that's not good. Oh, is it not? No. The will of the master, the hostile group furthest way from the hero makes a move action. They're already adjacent to enemies, so they're not gonna move. Okay, so that's kind of good because it doesn't really do anything. It's better than nothing, yeah. yeah. Um it was basically the same as nothing. Okay, so that's that. We tick the clock. Get ticked. So we've got this turn and next turn oh, to crazy. finish it and get out, which I think is going to be hard now. Because you went, didn't did, you? Yeah. You went and went, oh, gonna be out. and then they heard you and was like, no way. This is going to be angry and move on to here and destroy this. Mm. I'm not like, I'll be honest, I'm not mad upset that we're losing some. I think it's better to be well clear of it and maybe lose an objective yeah, than it is to, to kind of be in you in danger, you know what I mean? Mm. So We don't like danger. We don't. Amelda will roll her dice. Uh, she's ready to get out of here, I think. Okay. Um, Glorio? Mm -hmm. Good God. He's ready to get out of here as well. Mm. All the fours. Yelson? Yep. Happy to hang around, but also wouldn't mind leaving. Okay, and then... 
Fiona Bar. Just wants to go home, I think. Okay, so we start with the skeletons and then it's all the heroes in a random order. Well, that for me. Okay, would you like to gamble? Gambit. Gambit. Gamble. Whatever. A part of me would because they're just going to absolutely Don't... wail on Jelson, aren't they? Yeah, I mean... We didn't roll Destiny. Oh, we didn't roll Destiny. You want to roll the Destiny dice? Just roll them on the table. Okay. No, can. never. You have double four. So you got one, two and six. They can see these dice here, you see. That's why I know. Sorry, them. everybody. All right. Um, the only reason I remember is because I was going to be like, can I use a Destiny dice to recuperate? Mm. Or try mm. to recuperate for Jelson. So would you like to... Why does Je Jelson get less dice? Because he's taken damage. Yeah, he's, he's got a hit by the boy. skeleton. So obviously you have... You can use that if you hold that to the camera. Obviously you have... Um, but these are your activation boxes. Because he's taken a wound from the Ultra Watch, you roll less dice. He's a poorly baby. So every time you take two wounds, it moves on to the next one. <laughs> so each space can hold two wounds or one activation dice. Yeah. Okay, so would Jelson like to gambit, or would you like to try and lump it? Because they only roll blank. They essentially roll the bone dice. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna not gambit because not I don't want to waste dice okay. on gambiting. To be honest, I'd rather spend them on recuperating. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a free swap with Jelson with Imelda. How about that? You yeah, go first. Good, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he might die at this point. I swear to God, if he dies, I'll be human <laughs> because he's so good. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, the Open Watch will roll their behaviour. They're going to attack you. I mean, I think everything they're going to attack me. Should be they, they wouldn't do anything else at this point. So, yeah. the first one who's next to you will do one damage. Would you like to roll the I defense? I would love to roll a defense. And it Does will one do damage. nothing. They now have a grievous wound. The second one will roll one damage. Can I defend? Yeah. You blocked it. Thank you. The, the third one will roll one damage. Would you like to block it? Blocked it. Okay, so it took one extra damage. B, huh? So, not too bad, really. Definitely got off pretty, pretty lightly there. Yes. Okay. So now it's Jelson's turn. Uh, can I recoup? Yeah. With one of these? Sure. Vitality dice? I forgot. <laughs> oh, it's not inspired yet, is it? Yeah, no. Oh, I mean, okay. You, re you recover it to down to, from a grievous wound to one wound. No. Yeah. Okay. Um... I don't think it's necessarily worth doing it again when I could be attacking them, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to artiflate gonna the one next to me. Okay. Oh, God. It took that a stick. close. It's Tokens in. almost went all over the floor Terrible. again for the second time today. Hit. How many damage is that? Two damage. Which one did you hit? Um, the one? one next to me, yeah. Was one dead? Did you know it was painted? Huh? That was the one I painted in an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to use Ardent Blade again. Hey, Beanbag, how's it going? Oh, That's hello. Three damage. Then I'm going to use it again. Oh. Or should I move? It's you. you we're still all right from the grave pad in mm. a minute. Is that? Yeah, so I you think I'm Mark. glad that I... Um, so I'm going to... I did. I, was there a champion there? Yes, the one with the sword. That is the one I painted first, which you said <laughs> we were going to use as a champion. Yes. There is actually a champion model. It's actually this one. But the only way you can tell is because he's got, he's stood a bit differently, but he's also got a masked face. Oh, well, yeah. That's the only difference. You've got to paint him like a Jojo stone mask. Yeah, I will. Um, and then I'm going to roll for inspiration, please. Okay, you need give to me, roll six me. or less. You rolled a nine, so no. No inspan. That sucks. In. <laughs> that was like, oh, he might finally be inspired. <laughs> Cleona is inspired before. Okay, do you want to use some Destiny dice to run? Can I use the two to just get use in the room? Is that yeah. right? We're not finishing this turn anyway. Cause... Oh, it's not even open. The door's not open. I can't. It is open. Oh. You just didn't look at it. Oh, it's like, it's so true. Um, what did I say? I oh, used a two, didn't I? A two, yeah. So you got three. There you go. Shut One, two. It doesn't really matter at this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's her, him done. Mm -hmm. Then we've got a Melda, who's going to spend a two to move. One, two, three. She's going to use a four to move. You want to search? No. I'm not that bothered. I'm just going to. I could. Uh, to be fair, I could move to there, search, and then move and open the door. So I'll search. Why not? That, 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 this is my job. I forgot to leave the dice box on. Ashes of action. Oh, it's a zombie slayer. When this treasure card is used, you... The zombie slayer. Yes. <laughs> when this treasure zombie card... Zombie dust. Yes, there you go. There's your card. <laughs> you annoyed at me yet? Yet. <laughs> um, 
When this treasure card is used, choose one Dead Walker Zombie within two spaces of this hero. That Dead Walker Zombie and each Dead Walker Zombie in the same space as or adjacent to it is stunned. I still then think I'm not bothered because I've got the mirror force. The mirror one's really good to be yeah, fair. So I'm not that bothered. Yeah. I'm getting to that. We searched it. Then she'll move to there. Spend the last two dice to open the door. Nice, nice. What do we get? We get this one, which can be we worn. We get worn. Hell yeah. Okay. So let me find that one. Do you need to do my um? If you could. Could you hold it up to the camera, which shows the chat, but also so I can see it. Well, As you can see on this fantastic exploration card, um, we have one objective in the centre of the room, one lich gate, two closed doors, one enemy to spawn, and one option to warn the citizens. Is it that one? Is it um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this is good because if we get in there and we get a six. Fingers crossed we get a six, it means we can warn, meaning that we will have completed and won this mission, um, which is exciting. Very exciting, I'd say. Yeah? Okay. Super duper. Okay, so the one's going to go on the end. And the enemy of this one protecting the final is Gorslav, the Gravekeeper. It's good. He's a good one to end on, I think, for, yeah. a, for a potential end, shall I say. Not, don't want to jinx it for a potential end to the... Mission. Yeah. Okay. Oh, steady on. That's my, my chocolate bag. My bad. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll give you three ninety nine for the card. All oh, right. yeah. He's bidding on the card. Three ninety nine. he says. Can you see? What card? The card you're showing off. Oh, you're thank you. You're trying to sell it to the Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Three ninety nine highest offer. So that's uh, <laughs> this is potentially probably the final room. Well, don't say maybe we don't know. We might we've not roll to, any. We've sixes. got to extract. It will be the final room. We're not going to go through the door again, are we? Mate, unless the grave tide catches us up, which it could. What if we don't get six? We're going to have okay. to go through. So Amelda's out of dice. Yeah. Um, she it, if we put Gorslav there, she could attack him, but I'm not going to do that because I've not done that at any other point. Yeah. So that's her done. Then it goes on to Glorio. Yes. Yes. Yes, indeed. Where's... Oh, yeah. So it's Glorio's turn now. Bring these up so I can remember what I'm doing. Um, okay. So he's going to spend a four to run. He's got quite good dice, actually, the Glorio this turn, hasn't yeah. he? One, two, three, four. Spend a four to run. One, two, three. And he's going to shoot with Nobles. Because it's the duelist, right? So you can shoot at range or in melee. In melee, yeah. So he's going to shoot. Yeah, he gets a crit, which two is... Crits. Three damage. Does Gorslav ignore it at all? Uh, he does not. How much does he have left? He has six left. Okay. And then, because Noblesse can be shot twice because of fast shot, he's going to shoot again. Why not? Another crit. Ooh. Another three damage. So, how many... so he's got three, three left. left. Yes. Don't laugh at Could me. Could I spend a six to attack? Um, yeah, if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to use the six on the destiny board. To use Duelist. So with Duelist for Glorio. So on 5 plus I make a free move action. Or run. And, and I can attack with Guy 7. It counts as a crit. Mm -hmm. Basically whatever I roll. So if I, get, if I do any damage he dies. King Glorio kills him. Yeah in but, fairness. Can't argue with that to be honest. That was a very very impressive display. From a very very annoying man. And then we'll move there like that. Lovely. Who is Gorslav? I don't even know. <laughs> Gorslav be like, who? <laughs> so I've never heard of him. That would be Gloria be like, who? Because Gorslav wouldn't say, Gorslav, who's that? Because that would be him yeah. having an identity. Okay, crisis. yes, okay, okay. Um, the meme the meme is still there. Was it though? Clear this turn. Come, <laughs> and, come and get out. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, do you think? Maybe. You've got two moves. So, th okay, three. I'm going to get absolutely bollocked by you. Me to do it. Yeah, because you do Mr. Diagonal, don't you? Okay. So, three. One, two, three. Three. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three. We've got a warn on here. Uh, and I have six left, so I'm going to warn. Okay. Warn. We've gained a point. Yes, Cleona. We are on eight. This gets ditched. Right then. Who are you going to call? Glorio. You are going to call Glorio. Well, didn't I just tell everyone to actually win us the mission? So, yeah, we've got to do... We've got to make the mission get to Journey's End. 
Jenny, yeah, this is the Jenny bit that M. I'm never really sure on in terms of extraction. Again, I've, we've, we had this conversation last time. Are we going to make everyone get onto it or one model get onto it? I feel like it should be everyone. Cause the cutscene. We know? Yeah, so we've got to do an extract on a 4 plus at the door. We don't have any dice left, so that's going to be the end of the turn. And we're all very close to each other as well, so. Yeah. I think we're going to be okay. It's not like we're think, miles away. Yeah. I think we're going to be okay. So let's do the event phase first. Yes. <clears throat> going to roll the event or shall I? Do we need it low? We need it high. Roll it. <laughs> if it was me, it was low then. Roll a 12, it means we keep all the destiny dice. Incredible. So the destiny dice, we pretty much, we keep, good job, because I literally rolled all doubles and, cri and triples. Jeez. So I would have yeah. lost them all. Lucky day for us, huh? Not to be trying rules like, but looking at the rule book on page 37, you get two board tiles for every explore action. Do you? On page 37. Um, that would be interesting. It would be a longer game, I think, as most well. Most board it? tiles are added to the back of the journey begins. Oh, yeah, you had two more. Oh, yeah, you had two, not one. Oh, right, okay. Because of the step says draw exploration card, set it up, so I'd missed that bit. It would actually be shorter because you'd, every explore action you'd draw two tiles. I suppose. Well, that is a so, very good point. No, always rules lawyer if we're doing things wrong. It's not yeah. rules lawyer actually telling us we're doing it wrong, which is good. And that is what we want, to be honest. Classic Warhammer Quest, simple yet too complicated to ever remember all the rules correctly. Exactly what I'm for. Like, it's... That kind of makes sense. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. But no, thank you for letting us know. Yeah. Because that, that means next time we'll be doing it. We'll be doing it correct. And the good thing is, as well, we will have played it before, so we'll know... Mm. we'll know better you know because we haven't even normally when we play something we'll have read it beforehand or played it beforehand yeah but for this one we, we haven't done it. either you know yeah maybe that's why we found it so easy because there's only half the enemies coming on but also we're having to maybe. explore every time maybe yeah yeah that'd be very interesting thank mm. you for letting us know whoever Thanks. said that thank you now so we are about to end the mission we yeah <laughs> yeah no for sure we could well this is it, huh? No, thank you for letting us know. It's a, it's not a, it's not like a competition at the end of the day, is it? We don't matter, does it? So it's, it's only a, a fun game. So Glorio, it literally really doesn't matter what we roll as long as one of his rolls are four, which we <laughs> both have. Yeah, not to brag, but I rolled two. Did you? Um, but yeah, thanks for correcting us on the rules again. We, you know, we've. Had it a little bit longer than other people, but we've, you know, we've not like had like months. We didn't write the game, you know. We've had a couple of days. <laughs> and I think the it. thing is, like, we I really appreciate when people say it because you know what? I will say for all of you, like, you're all so polite. You're not, you're not assholes about it, but you're all really polite, and that's it. Like, we we're not experts, so I really appreciate everyone being super kind and super helpful. It Ooh. makes it a lot more fun when everyone's kind of like rooting for you and trying to like help and point things out. So yeah, thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're all really good eggs. I'm going to gambit and swap with um, uh, Gelson, if that's alright. Why? Just so he can open the door. Because you can't get there because you've blocked it off. Okay. I don't think you can. He, didn't, <clears throat> he missed. He's going to try it again. He missed. He's going to try it again. Okay, he's not. <laughs> I don't think you can, to be fair. Why are you just putting all your dice back? Because you can't technically get through. Why are you putting all your dice back? Because you can't gambit. Because you him. can't gambit. Because it's not hostile. So I was only memeing. I don't understand. It doesn't matter. I was memeing. You too tired oh, to understand. Okay, I'm really tired. Okay. So we'll go with Jelton <laughs> first. Yeah. What do you like to do? Open the door. <laughs> well, that's the um, thing. Can, yeah. you, can you stand there and open the door? No, I can move through you, but I can't be on the same space as you. I can't occupy the same space. Yeah. So, bas so basically, because of that, you can't get onto the end game tile this activation which means we would go to nightfall so clear because we've not moved no. on so clear and just ends the movement because that'd be stupid otherwise okay so, yeah. so he's gonna moves. move yeah one two three four yeah 
open the door for an extract. So that flips over. We get the tile. Oh, we're going to be able to see it. Uh, I don't so think I start so. shifting everything. I didn't even do the grave tag, so it didn't really matter, to be fair. So you shift, you make it so the camera's not on me and my trackies. Lovely. You can just see it. The grave tag's on this one, essentially. It's okay. Like that. This gets mm -hmm. removed. Okay. Yeah. And then what would you like to make another move? Yeah, I'm gonna move again. So like oh Christ, like here, so everyone yeah. else can sort it on. Okay. And then we all well, then we all activate one at a time. Gloria goes like this, Cleona goes like this, and now it goes like this. And the emission ends. And that's it. We did it. Um so we did it wrong. We did it we didn't wrong. Draw two rooms at a time. I think that would be really it would be different, but I don't think it'd be super, super different. Mm. There'd be a few more the enemies. There'd be a few more enemies because the enemies didn't really do much in this mission. They attacked once or twice. Yeah, I think it would make it a lot harder. I think if you were to, um, to have done, if we did, if you played it right, yeah. it would have been a more challenging game. We've done it game, two ways you know? because, like, we did it one way. We'll do the journey's end in a second. We played the, we played the enemies wrong because we respawned them too fast, and it was. Good. I thought it was fine, mm. even though it was too fast. But now. Now we've done it the other way, where it felt too easy because there weren't enough enemies. Yeah, because but I think might, that the... might be because we played it wrong. I think it's because Glenn, our King Glenn, was like, actually, this is this is not seeming right, and then we changed it, and it did feel like a really different game. Mm. So, my we were essentially every time all the enemies were killed, we redrew the card. Yeah. So if they hadn't activated, we brought the enemies on straight away. Yeah. Whereas you actually leave the card face down when it gets to their activation. If there's no enemies left, all the driven off. Mm. Then they activate next turn, which me makes you feel like they don't do anything. Yeah. Um, like I said, hunt should be faster. Yeah, we played hunt relatively quickly because we kept respawning them that first mm. game. Yeah. And doing it essentially hard way. Yeah. But. Uh, it's easy to read the rules and miss stuff if you aren't with others who have also read the rules. No one led to play 40k or Sigma on their own. You read, you learn, you play, you learn. Yeah, exactly. So we're, is, just, we're learning not as we're playing. You know? That is so right. Like we, I've never even played like Warhammer Quest or anything. No, so, I mean, it, this is the first time for me, you know. And we were going in completely fresh, you know. So I think you're completely right. If you've got somebody else who's read it and been like, oh wait, I, I picked up on this and this. Yeah, I haven't it's played a super helpful. I haven't played a quest game since I was probably like six mm. when I was playing Hero Quest. So. Well, I would maybe potentially played Hero Quest, I don't really remember. My babysitter had it. That's how old it is. That's how long ago it was. Um, so, uh, but that's okay. On my first Deliverance mission, I was following the regular reinforcement rules as well as doing the re room spawns. Went very poorly. Oh, so you had all four activating in each room. Yikes. Oh. Nasty. Um, but yeah, never mind. I mean... That was our first deliverance. It was level zero. It's essentially a tutorial mission anyway. Yeah, it's like a yeah, for sure. <laughs> Who right? cares? It's just tutorial. You know? It's like tutorial island. Um okay, so would you shall I roll the journey? No, end? I wanna roll it. Okay. Eight. So got terrible the way it's absolutely ruin it. As it say go back out and <laughs> do another eight round. We add two because we were both successful and it's still daytime. We've never had it, but we've never had ten. it still daytime because you played it wrong. No. We shrink fear by one to a minimum of five. The sight of the adamant taking the fight to Radicar does wonders for the morale of the city. Do you remember when we... I'm dancing. I thought we were doing like fusion, huh? Like a Dragon Ball. So I remember when fear went up because of that crisis. It now goes back down. No, I don't remember because it never happened because we actually just dominated. Okay, so fear <laughs> goes from seven, eight to seven. Yeah, because we were getting a bit antsy because it was eight and it yeah. didn't want to go to ten but then because we've completed deliverance um if you are successfully each can experience and we shrink the fear by two to five. Oh my goodness we dropped it three that turn well it went up three. one but it essentially dropped it two good crikey good crikey it would have been a bit bugger if we kept it so fear is now five however influence grows by one so influence is on six. Oh, that's not as good but we're better that than eight though right well yeah um, and we gain experience, and because we were already veterans, we're level one. We're now level one. Hell yeah! Okay. We're so then one. we are. Each hero starts. Give them the token they are newly replacing the level token they already have. Right. 
When a hero's level increases, they permanently gain a powerful trait. The trait they gain is based on their level and their class. Like hero's you. class is presented on their character card under the name and description of each class can be found below. To see which trait heroes gains, take the trait card for their class. There's also a slot for this on their character card, uh, which is basically the top right mm -hmm. of your character card, as you can see. Um... Each time hero, le hero levels increase, they keep all the traits gained at previous levels. For example, after a journey, Emelda increases level 2. The blade trait card shows strategist. She so also she retains quick, thin yeah, quick thinker. Do you want to do that on camera or off camera? Well, we just get a card. Oh, dang. Okay, I thought it was going to be like, figure all of this out. So I have... I have executioner and lawmaster. Okay, so you get executioner. Thank you. So and... executioner, level 1. Quick reflexes. Do not reduce the score of remaining activation dice on this hero's character card when activation ends. Nice. So when you keep dice on your card um, after an activation is ended, you can keep them to react to things, which you saw me do with the Elton earlier. Um, normally when you do that, you reduce the number on the dice by one. So because now I have this, I don't have to do that with him anymore. Six yeah. Things. And then I've got Lawmaster. Hey, where the finals Thanks very much for the 200 bits. Really appreciate it. For Cleona. Fated. This hero can spend three Destiny dice per turn instead of two, which That's gives my bad. rolling. It's great. Okay. So both my characters are blades. Blades. So like they both the re-roll failed gambit rolls. So for Melda, that's terrible, pretty much, because she can Shooting gambit mostly for free. Yeah. But it's only with other heroes, but now she can re-roll the failed gambits. And so can Cla Glorio. Glorio can re-roll. Glorio with that. <laughs> Glorio, yeah. Nice. Um, it looks like you need to extract all heroes. Yeah, we read it the other day. We couldn't quite work out what yeah. it was trying to say. We imagine it means all, but it doesn't really say what. So this version has one more, more than one level up. Yeah, it's got five levels. You can grow five levels in this Do game. Do you want to I'll show the camera? Yeah, go for it. So, we've got Cleonas here. Um, so, oh God. she's gone to level one now. So there you go. And then as you go to level five, oh my God, why can I not send to this? It goes up and up and you get to keep everything that you've already leveled up with as well, which is quite nice. So nice. it's not like you trade one thing for another. Um, you get to keep all of the ones that you've previously achieved, which is quite nice, I think. Nice. It's all, it's top of page 32, says Fenrir. If all heroes are dead or out of action, or if every hero that is not dead or out of action is in the extraction zone, the journey ends. Is so yes. in the extraction zone. Yes. There we go. That one then little line so there. Here. Beautiful. That one little line there says it all. Done in. Done in. And so, as you can see, we are all in it. We are in the, all in the extraction zone. So that is the yeah. end. We all gain experience. We have how many realms down did we collect? Just one? One. So we can't buy anything with that, so that gets discarded. Yeah, that's annoying, huh? Bit of a shame. It is horrific wording, yeah. Um... So we, Good editor. <laughs> so we are level one, mm -hmm. which means we can go to our first decapitation mission, oh, yay. the Fell Guardian, oh. which includes Vasque. Oh, look at the puppy. Vasque. Camera, please. Cam Babe, please. Oh, the trackies. Vasque. Put that down. Okay. Look at him. So in the He's next mission, puppy. we'll be facing off against him. I'll give you a little teaser. I'm going to hold, I'm going to cradle him. Guardian. Like a tiny baby in my hands. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you have to be level one to do this, which we are, by the way. <laughs> Not to brag. Not to brag, but we are level one. One day, guys, I'll wear like nice clothes on the stream. Like <laughs> not just trackies and a scratchy t-shirt. I'll put something like <laughs> nice on. Why are you laughing? It just, it just sounds funny, mm -hmm. what you're saying. You're saying it in a funny voice. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you implying? <laughs> Word reaches the heroes of a Vargskaya. Well, it's not, it's not a singular Vargskaya. <gasps> There's multiple. more. There's been sighted guarding the ruins of an ancient ma mausoleum in the Ven Alton crypt halls. <gasps> in Glorio's family crypt. <sighs> Only the will of Radicar could keep such a beast tied to a single location for so long. Why the wolf would do this is a mystery, but the answers may lie somewhere within the beast slayer. The adamant drops the heroes close to where Valksky was last seen, but before they can begin their search, they hear screams in the distance, and the churning roar of an approaching, oh. suffocating grave tide. Is this coincidence or further evidence the Wolf King has something near hidden nearby? Ooh, exciting. Ooh. So basically what this means is there's two levels to the next level. We have to do an escape from the suffocating grave tide. So this kind of thing again or? So basically the same again. Yeah. 
So it says, set up the deliverance journey following the rules on page 37 of the rulebook. If 10 exploration cards have already been drawn when a hero makes an explore action, the heroes have reached the lair of the villain. So we have to basically Ooh. go through 10, 10 spaces. Okay. And then, after that, we set up a map. Which we then go and find. Like his little lair. His lair, yeah. I love fun. him. Because he's guarding the mausoleum for some reason. He's a little wolf puppy bat thing. If the journey ends after the heroes have reached the villain's lair and there is at least one hero not out of action, the heroes are successful. It's got a little rat on it as well. So Sorry. there's lots and lots of extra rules uh, for this and it's got its own event table. Thanks. <laughs> So, yeah, so basically what we have to do is escape the Grave Tide, go into the lair, find the Vast Guy, kill him, go to the Winchester, pull a pine, and, and then we're done. I like him. I want to be on his side. He's you want to be on his side. Okay. Um, and that is... That is it. Then we, after that, we can go to... Oh, that that is it. We go to stage two, which is this. Oh, dang. Okay. So we, and then stage two is we have to kill um, the villain, the Vast Guy. That makes Exciting. sense. Exciting, yeah. So it's two missions in one, basically, next yeah, time. Yeah, it's a twofer, right? A twofer, yeah. So, um, that is it. That's going to be for today. So that mission was quite interesting. It'd be, I'd be interested to see what it's like when we play it properly. I was going to say, I'd be interested to see what happens if we play it, you know, correctly. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed that one, I think. Um, I, I think the hunt is still my favourite. Because mm. I'm quite straightforward. I just like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, the scavenger drum was quite fun, I think. Um... I think this one I might feel differently about it if we played it properly. Mm. But um, we played that one quite quickly. We've been playing for three hours, total. Yeah, we normally have four if we like chatting like and stuff, hours, don't yeah. we? So, yeah. yeah, yeah, quite interesting. So, um, I, again, it'd be quite interesting to see what it's like when we're playing properly. But at least we know now. Again, yeah. we played, uh, except for the the mission, like the story missions. Essentially, we played one of each mission now. Yeah, um, yeah. And we've balanced the influence and fear back to where it was at the start <laughs> yeah to be fair more by luck than judgment yeah think, so again but... kind of it says you can do any missions you like but if you don't do one of each and then go and do the big mission yeah. you're gonna influence and fear aren't gonna be balanced very well so it doesn't really it just says do one of each and then go yeah. and do the which i the think mission. makes sense you know uh are you still having fun me mm. yeah i am i really am like i'm sorry if i've been sub i've had like a hellish weekend in work it's been super super busy and i'm super tired and i finished like six so mm. it's like rush to get home eat food that quick then we can play but even so i <laughs> i'm like really invested in the characters and yeah. um, i love the story again i'm a big anything like gothic -y. i i love it um so i I'm, I'm really enjoying it i think it's really fun because it's the same kind of mechanics but we're still playing different missions mm -hmm. which is nice because it feels like different games but i'm not having to learn everything all over again you know yeah. hands down a million percent my favorite um my Box favorite one had. yeah a hundred percent don't get me wrong the other ones were great but this one i think is really my bag aesthetically really my bag yeah it's just like everything Again, I it's, like. It's a board really game, it's not a, um, yeah. a war game that's got a box game to try and sell more models type thing. Oof. Yeah. But like, well, don't get me wrong, that, I enjoyed I mean, it, but like. Yeah, that's a hot take, but it's what they are. Yeah, you but know? I would, I'd take this over Pariah Nexus any day of the week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a little easy. We've never been really at a knife's edge of being like, holy crap, we're nearly dead now. The closest I've come to that was the first game we played with Cleona. Yeah. I really thought, I thought I was going to lose her, but I thought she was done for. Mm. Um, we didn't stream that one. That was like the first time we ever played it. When we did our practice game, yeah. Mm. Uh, but we have just grown a level, which means whilst we've got some cool extra abilities, such as re-rolling failed gambits, now we actually go to a second level of encounters. So we're on level one. So... The last card where we only had Gorslav, it'll now be Gorslav and two Deadwalker zombies. Yeah. So I think that is really going to see a big jump up. Because so we get kind of better, but yeah. not better enough to warrant that We're not doing any more damage. every enemy, you know? you know? So I'm hoping with the fact that we've grown a level and we'll have more enemies about, it might feel a bit harder. Because at the minute, it feels quite... Not like not like a... I don't know what the word is for it. You know, like a, It's not like a breeze, but there's never really like, oh my god. A Corsagi Night Guard hits you for four, and then you just murder him. You know? Yeah, and I think we don't get better. Well, we do. That's not true. But like our weapons, we get inspired and stuff, and we can get buffs with our um, Realmstone. 
Yeah. But I think they're going to get better quicker than we're going to get better. Yes. And that's going to make what it I'm more challenging. That's what know? I'm hoping, actually hoping for. Yeah. Although, again, let's have a quick quick nosy. So, like, the Night Guard, which is, like, relatively early on. Because bear in mind, with my Realm Stone, all I did was up my damage by one. Mm. On range, not on everything, just on range stuff. So, I think they're going to get their kind of curve of um, improvement is going to be a lot steeper than ours. Yeah. So I think which is good because when you first start on it, you don't want to get completely annihilated because that's not fun. No, exactly. You know? I agree. I agree. Yeah. Uh, so like the watch captain will come on with two ultimate watch in his group, for example. Yeah, and I think um... we've had the chance now to have like some fun. It's and not put people off. Like because I imagine if you showed this, I'm gonna use Dark Souls board game again. I think if you show that to someone straight off the bat, it could be a little bit like. Yeah, which I've always said about the Dark Souls game. Know? It's because you kind of have to compare it because it's a very similar style game. Um, with that, if you're invested in Dark Souls, it's very good. But if you're not, and you're more casual, you're probably not interested. Mm. Um, because of the setting, because of the difficulty and all that. But I mean, I get it. Dark Souls is grindy, that's the point. I I prefer this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it might be like a personal thing. But like I, I just prefer like mechanics and stuff. Mm. Can you carry more items with levels under your belt? Sadly not. We can only no, carry... still one, right? Yeah, we can only carry one treasure, plus one weapon, plus one armor, but weapon and armor can only be bought. So empowerments like Georgie's got, because she's got an empowered weapon. Yeah. Um, John says, level zero to introduce you to mechanics, level one onwards, it gets a lot tougher, like in Blackstone 4. 100%, yeah. Yeah. 100%. So that's, again, that's what I'm kind of hoping for, because to me at the minute, it's kind of like going through the motions essentially nothing really scary but i'm hoping it gets a little bit more scary in terms of like a little bit like harder to play that's what i'm hoping for but uh maybe you'll be able to join us this week shall we stream again maybe this week potentially wednesday again but we'll see for now yes i'm in work on an extra day next week uh, okay so we'll we will see um but you, there'll be an event up on YouTube, so you've got notifications on, so you see that. We will stream episode four, where we you will take on the, the Fell Guardian, the Varskaya. And then uh, we'll take it from there and see what happens. I might not wear trackies. Yeah. That's I am, I am, I am kind of thinking we might like do one or two missions to grow level. Like, do one or two missions on stream, and then we'll kind of do the main missions on stream, if that makes sense. Yeah. And kind of like not stream every single mission because it might get a little bit repetitive. It was just yeah. like, oh, we're level two now. We're doing all the three missions yeah. again. I hope that you're also liking it, though. I know we've streamed like, what, four times? This three is the third one. Third time. Yeah, so we'll be doing the fourth one. Yeah, so I hope that you're still enjoying it and you're not bored and you're not sick of seeing me and my shit joggy bottoms. <laughs> and like, I hope you're still all enjoying it. It's been really yeah. fun to do. I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I hope, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I'm going to be painting some of the models on stream. I'm going to be... <clears throat> Um, record it, essentially recording a coffee time where I'm going to become the world's fastest painter <laughs> by getting sub skeletons in sub one hour. Um, and I've got like X split. So like, if you ever watched any gaming speed run <laughs> where they have like the targets and the times, that's going to be the stream this week. Um, are you going to go to keep the same characters? We're going to level up the others too. I mean, we could level up the others. We could swap around, make it a little bit more interesting. That might help make it feel a bit more varied. We'll yeah, we say. could always maybe, we'll maybe. Probably... Sorry. No, I was going to say when we get level up, we could always switch to. Um, there's one, two. There's another four characters. Three. We there, could we? we have another two each. You know, that could be fun. I think that's a good idea. Hmm. Um. So yeah, but supposedly the the ogre and the dwarf get regen as, as their level one buff. So oh, they heal nice. the wound automatically. That's good. I think it's called Stalwart. I think someone said it in the chat. Stalwart. That just makes me think of a... Indomitable. Stalwart. Before this hero would make an activation roll, they can remove one wound counter from this card or turn a grievous wound down. That, that is a lot better than what we got. I'm <laughs> quite happy with bits. mine, to be honest. Um, I would be happy to see a repeat of levels, but I guess a lot of people might not want that. Yeah, I just, me personally, um, I think it'd probably be better if we did like because it's three levels to grow a level, right? Mm -hmm. If we did like... One per level. Yeah, so we did like the Fell Guardian, and then we'll do a Hunt, a Scavenge, or Deliverance on stream. Yeah, we can then get we'll you guys to vote mission. which you want per level. Yeah, and then we'll do the next mission, and then we'll do another one, and then we'll do the next mission. Which means that, because if we're doing two a week, it's going to take us like like three months to finish it. Uh, whereas we could be like, okay, we'll stream one this week. Hmm. We'll smash out a couple between us and then we'll play the, the big mission one on stream because they might be a little bit more interested. And they also might take a lot longer. 
Yeah, because obviously true. the next one is two missions yeah. in one. Yeah, for sure. Um, Whatever you want, really. The dwarf gets to carry an extra treasure too when he's inspired chuffing. How oh, that's good. He's a henchman. Maybe I need to get dude. the dwarf. Glory and the dwarf. Oh, you know. or Imelda and the dwarf, maybe. That would be... Imelda sucks. She only did well in this one because she the got inspired is, early. She doesn't suck. Like, objectively, she's got good stats and she can do good stuff. It's just... For some reason, you're phobic about rolling good dice, you know? Yeah, characters grow levels twice as fast uh, if there's another character higher. So now we're level one. The other ones will grow a level in two missions rather than three. Oh, okay. That's cool. So, uh, I'd love to watch, but I've been avoiding spoilers for the Fell Guardian to avoid spoilers. Well, the thumbnail that's will fair. make sure you know that is the mission. Yeah, um, make it super clear. Cause yeah, like... it will have the Valskyr on it. Yeah. Um, so you'll know if you don't want to watch that one yet because you're waiting or oh. whatever, then um, we'll obviously make sure you don't click that one. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. If you guys say we want to see every single one and it's super popular, we'll do every single one. If not, I am kind of thinking like maybe we'll do one per, like in yeah. between. So you can kind of like see the progression of the characters but not see every single mission. So, but otherwise guys, that is everything. So thank you very much for watching this evening. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, can I do a poll? Yeah, we'll probably do a poll in the Discord, so make sure you join the Discord. There's a link in the description or exclamation point Discord in the Twitch chat um, to get that. Nice. That's it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Glorio, obviously, will be back potentially on Wednesday. I might not be. And his, his friends might come along as well, and he'll probably take down the Fell Guardian. The friends will cheer. Hooray! Glorio! Bring Glorio! Glorio! Glory, there's going to be a radio station dedicated to him called Gloria Radio. Don't you dare. <laughs> but otherwise, guys, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, we're going to go raid Jay now. So uh, you're going to get a un very unflattering image uh, of my face while I do that. Ooh. And hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. And now you get to watch me do this because I don't have a button that does this. So. It's awkward because I just did my big goodbye. Yeah, but we can cut this off the YouTube video. We can watch <laughs> it on YouTube. Don't worry about it. You get an unflattering picture of my head. Hello. It's so close. Hello. I'm going to come and say hello. There we go. It's now I'm not my face. Oh. Um, so we're going to raid Jay on Twitch because he's streaming some painting. I'll oh. also be live tomorrow at, mo tomorrow at 6 p.m. Where is it? On YouTube. Hello. It's here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, everyone. I love you all. And hopefully, we catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Hi, Steve. Bye, Steve. <laughs>